The Miyagi was stern, and the ground just after the rain was still wet with water stains, and was lightly stepped on by a dozen pairs of black boots. The tool on the soft sedan lifted a corner, revealing a white, reverie hand. He Zhang was still a little chaotic when he was woken up by the bump. He remembered staying up late to read a book, and after the cannon fodder with the same name died, he suddenly felt that his brain was heavy and he had difficulty breathing. The phone fell to the ground because of the unstable grip. He clutched his chest and propped up his drowsy brain to get the phone, but he fell to the ground all of a sudden. At the moment when his consciousness disappeared, what he thought was, it turns out that staying up late will really cause sudden death. But now, what's going on? The sound of neat footsteps stepped on the ground, and the thin sound of treading water could be vaguely heard. Could it be that a friend happened to come to the house to help him report 120? The idea was quickly dismissed. As a professional game anchor in a dead house, He Zheng's friends often play games together, and they don't usually move around at all. Most importantly, if he was lying on a stretcher right now, at least he could hear the distinctive whistle of the ambulance. It is even more unlikely that he has already arrived at the hospital. He only smelled the cold and moist breath after the rain. Obviously, it is still outdoors. Just thinking about it blankly, He Zheng suddenly found that he couldn't move, his body was weak, and it was difficult to open his mouth to speak. He tried to open his eyes, and what caught his eyes was the flying gauze curtain, but it was not very transparent, at least He Zheng only you can see the outside through the gap. The sedan chair suddenly stopped, and before He Zheng had time to see what the scenery was like, he heard a man's voice, Director of Nanmen. General Wu, this is. In order to share His Majesty's worries, He Ziyongwo sent a special gift. This matter has been reported to His Majesty. The man who was called the manager of the South Gate chuckled and whispered with the eunuch's femininity, Your Majesty doesn't accept all kinds of gifts here. The voice in front was a little flattering and respectful, I have the supervisor of Lao Nanmen to see it. His Majesty? Gift? He Zheng felt that this conversation was a little familiar. As the footsteps approached, He Zheng closed his eyes reflexively, the gauze curtain was lifted, and a cold wind blew. He Zheng felt a cold gaze slashed his face like a knife, and the gauze curtain was put down, the South Gate supervisor smiled. Said, Ziyongwo really has a heart. If you can really solve the worries of the reproduction of the royal family, then your majesty will reward you, and Ziyongwo must not forget our family. Xiao Guan must bring the words with you. The carriage jolted again. He Zheng thought for ten seconds, but his scalp suddenly exploded. There was exactly this scene in a book he read before his sudden death. In the book, there is a tyrant named Fang Tianzhou. This guy witnessed his mother and concubine being strangled by the queen when he was young, and then was raised in the queen's name and was abused every day. The concubines in his bed had their necks severed by him, and the ministers were worried about the royal family's spreading of branches and leaves. The author Fang Tian's woe's evaluation is, the tyrant is ruthless, he doesn't care whether the country will perish or not, he just wants to enjoy the pleasure of playing with power. So it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you anger him, no matter what forces are behind you, killing is killing, and if you dare to plead, you will die together. Originally, this kind of person will definitely be overthrown and beheaded in the future but the author has added an invincible buff to such a guy, and he is also the best in the world in martial arts. If a hundred people come to chop him, he will flick his finger a hundred times and the opponent will get all. Extinguish. It's simply a domestic tyrant. The strong dominate. It was such a strong and tyrannical guy. After he couldn't bear it any longer, he said a sentence in the hall, since the Qing family has opinions then I will find a man who can conceive for me, and I will be generous. If I try to give me another woman, he warned, I will copy his entire family. Ministers shut themselves up. But there are also a few people who start to think of crooked ideas. So the stunning cannon fodder that promotes the development of both the plot and the emotions appeared. He is He Xiongwo's concubine, He Zheng. 
realizing that he was most likely the big gift that He Ziyongguo gave to the tyrant, He Zhang was about to close himself. He suspected that he was wearing it, but he was still a little unsure. He wanted to pinch himself, but his body was too soft to move. This is too unbelievable. He just read a broken book before his sudden death, and then he was so angry that he was short of breath and hemorrhaged in the brain. Why did he wear it? Dreams are a little too real. When he was stunned, the sedan chair stopped steadily again, let's come. The South Gate supervisor spoke, and He Zheng immediately felt that he was being picked up. He wanted to open his eyes but didn't dare to open his eyes, and his heart was beating very fast. This is a dream, it must be a dream, right? Damn, this dead can actually pick up a big man at once no, He Zheng in the original book is not a rough man. He has a peerless face and a slender figure, and any adult man can easily pick him up. He Zheng was lying on the bed softly, the bed was pulled up, and the manager of Nanmen seemed to be out to send someone off. He Zheng immediately opened his eyes, gasping for breath. The book I just read yesterday, even if I misremember the details, the plot is definitely not wrong. If this situation is really the He Zheng in the book, then according to the setting and plot in the book, today is the day when the tyrant will contribute to him, that is to say, the tyrant will soon come here and do this to him. After a couple of times in a row, he would soon become pregnant. Then he will be jealous of the feelings of the tyrant and the protagonist of the original book. When he finds that he has no place in the heart of the tyrant, he begins to have ambitions and prepares to unite with his old lover and brother to rebel, and then after more than nine months die. How was the original written? The conclusion is, Fang Tian Zhou cut open his abdomen, put his hand in, and pulled out the full-term child. He Zheng was struggling too hard, and he also chopped off his legs and stepped on two broken arm only. In the end, He Zheng didn't even beg to be alive, and he didn't even give him a look at the child. He Zheng shuddered. A throbbing pain in the abdomen. No, he doesn't want to die. No matter whether he is really dreaming or not, he must escape. He Zheng suddenly burst out with strength, he rolled over suddenly, and suddenly rolled from the bed to the ground. Hey! The pain twitched slightly, and there were steps under the broken bed, but it killed him. He Zheng knew that he was being drugged at this moment, and He Jinhua originally wanted to prevent him from escaping. Speaking of the setting of this cannon fodder, it is really hard to describe. He is the child of a stunning Warren and He Ziyongguo. The year He Jinhua was born, the sick Warren brought him to the door, kneeling and begging Mrs. He to accept it. Took him. Mrs. He, who just got his first son, was stuck in her throat and never had a good look on him. He Ziyongguo also felt that he had humiliated the lintel, but He Jinhua liked him very much because he was beautiful. The two of them got older, and He Zheng, who lacked love, gradually developed an indescribable affection for He Jinhua. He Jinhua was a man with a deep sense of wealth. It's not right to be related by blood. But in fact, he always knew that Fang Tian Zhou didn't love women, and thought about using He Zheng to please Fang Tian Zhou one day. He Jinhua and He Ziyongguo began plotting rebellion after Fang Tian Zhou ascended the throne, but they were not fully prepared, and they did not dare to challenge Fang Tian Zhou directly. It's too easy to take their lives. The success of this childbirth drug gave He Jinhua a glimmer of hope. He Zheng naturally refused. Although he was stupid, he didn't want to be pushed by his beloved younger brother to give birth to another man's child. Because of this, he saw He Jinhua's true face clearly. In desperation, he met on the bed. Fang Tian Zhou, who took good care of him, He Zheng was simple since he was a child and he had never done such an intimate thing when he was good with He Jinhua, so he fell in love with Fang Tian Zhou, thinking that he could become an overlord. Naturally, he was disappointed again. Disappointed He Zhang began to go wild. He Jinhua never gave up on rebellion, and looked for him again and again. He Zhang agreed to rebel with him, but it was unbearable to be lonely during pregnancy. Fang Tian Zhou actually knew everything 
but he was holding back until the child was mature, and he came over and cut He Zhang up with his own hands. He Zhang tried his best to climb over to the pillar on the side. He remembered that the efficacy of this broken medicine seemed to be four hours. As long as he could escape the fate of being Fang Tian Zhou tonight, he believed that the days in the future would be much better, at least he wouldn't have to worry about having a baby with a big belly. If he doesn't have children, then his opponent Tian Zhou is useless. At that time, he will fly far away, and even if he can't escape, he will be much happier to die slowly in the palace than to have a child by Caesarean section. I have to praise Fang Tian Zhou here. He Zheng worked hard for a long time, and he was about to hide, but he didn't even come in. Well, a man who is not manipulated by his lower body is a good man. He Zheng was so moved that he hid behind the screen on one side, lying on the cold ground feebly and panting. He Jin Hua this beast. He scolded and rested, but he still had no strength, and it was impossible to run out at this moment. He Zheng was going to wait until he regained his strength. This is already the case, whether he is dreaming or not, he has to react to the current situation. Go back. A low and sweet male voice suddenly came. When He Zheng was the anchor, he always called himself He Dachhan, but fans said that he was a gentle and cute little milky voice. Now I can't help but feel jealous when I hear this kind of voice. I don't know if the general attack voice or something will be okay in this life. After thinking about it, his heart suddenly lifted. This product seems to be Fang Tian Zhou. He came. His heart dropped a little bit, but it was better to hide it. But what if Fang Tian Zhou couldn't find him in bed? He, if he knew that he was hiding, would he smash his Tian Ling cover in a rage when he found it? He Zheng's heart was relieved and he held his breath. Hey! Fang Tian Zhou lifted the bed curtain, and he had never seen Xiangguo's big gift inside, and his eyebrows suddenly picked up. He Zhang carefully exhaled, then inhaled. Fang Tian Zhou's ears moved slightly and turned his head. Behind the screen, a piece of light blue clothes was exposed, and he saw it at a glance. You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me. Well, I can't see you. Number 3 New Articles Don't be frightened by the original text in the text guarantee with life is a really sweet pet text. This is the first time I write about nitrogen fixation, and I really have no confidence. I hope, someone will read it. It's even better if you can drive me crazy, QWQ thanks for the big mine. The ground was cold but He Zheng gradually recovered from the state of being paralyzed as if he had been treated with muscle relaxants. Fang Tian Zhou didn't move at all, and he didn't dare to look at it casually. After all, this is the era of feudalism, and if one is not careful, it will be corpse in the street. It was too uncomfortable to maintain one position all the time, He Zheng's arms were numb from the pressure, he struggled to hold up his beginning to be strong, and carefully turned over. A pair of long and narrow dark phoenix eyes, a black gold dragon robe, and a gold rope from the purple gold crown down the ears hanging down on the chest. The handsome and young man stood behind him, looking down at him, with no expression of joy or anger. Fang, Tian, Xiao. He Zheng was lying on the ground half supported, his pupils contracted and his heartbeat quickened. The scene from the Qing Palace drama flashed through my mind. I wanted to kneel down and shout the emperor auspicious, but when I sat up, I couldn't support it and fell to the side. He was breathing rapidly, panic and helplessness all over his body. What is he? Disrespect in front of the palace? Excuse me before you? Fang Tian Zhou frowned, then stretched out again, he squatted down in front of He Zheng, and said, He Xiangguo is an open and fast person. He Zheng didn't say a word. He grew up in a socialist country since he was a child, and he couldn't adapt to such a situation for a while, and felt awkward to say anything. The most important thing is that he was so nervous that he couldn't speak. Fang Tian Zhou was a terrible man, moody, and ruthless. He could crush a woman's throat without changing his face, or he could seriously live He Zheng. Cut open, 
as if they were not people, but a chicken, a duck, or a nasty frog. He could hear Fang Tian's woe's voice with sarcasm. After all, although He Zhang was born, he was also He Xiong Wo's parent and child. He did not hesitate to change the physiological structure of his own son and send it to another man to give birth to a child. The heart is not generally ruthless. He Zheng's slender neck hangs down, his long eyelashes tremble like a butterfly's wings, his lips are red, his skin is snow white, his hair is like black ink, and his facial features are unforgettable. The original book said, he inherited his mother's beauty perfectly, even more beautiful than the unparalleled Warren. A slender hand stretched out, Fang Tian Zhou pinched his chin, He Zheng was forced to look at him, and listen to him ask, afraid of me. No. He Zheng suddenly thought of something. When Fang Tian Zhou first met He Zheng in the palace, he actually had a good impression of him. Of course, his beauty gave him a lot of points. Fang Tian Zhou also investigated him and knew that he was abused by Mrs. He since childhood. The similarities are also quite similar. He Zheng gradually stopped shaking. In other words, the current plot has not developed to the point where he will die in the end. If he avoids what He Zheng did in the original work, he may be able to survive. He Zheng cheered up, his body suddenly softened again, a strong arm supported his waist, and with a slight hook, he Zheng fell into his arms. The man looked down at him, and He Zheng got up with a conditioned apology, I, I'm a little uncomfortable. Fang Tian's woe's hands tightened, and He Zheng's body was suddenly lifted up by him. He looked down at him and said, I am here to see the imperial physician. No wonder the original cannon fodder fell in love with him. Fang Tian Zhou was notorious, but he was quite good to He Zheng who met him for the first time. He is also a handsome man who is hard to find in the world. If he can be a little gentle on the bed, he will probably give people the illusion that they are very important. Ignoring his tragic ending in the future, He Zheng, who already likes men, couldn't help but feel a little moved. His cheeks were slightly hot, no, no need. Really not. He Zheng nodded. The bed is very big. He Zheng can roll on it at least five times, Fang Tian Zhou put him on the bed, put his face on his palm, tell me your name. Absolutely. He Zheng almost bit his tongue, swallowed Jedi General attack He Dachhan in time, and said softly, He Zheng. Fang Tian Zhou narrowed his eyes, and He Zheng immediately said, My mother's surname is Zhu, it's called Zhueking. Fang Tian Zhou frowned. He Zheng didn't realize that he said mom, and seeing him frown, he couldn't help constructing a way to die for himself in his mind. Called, called Jue's Hung. Later, after entering the Xiongfu, I changed my surname. His mother's nickname is indeed a heartless lady, because she is so beautiful that ordinary people can't sleep if they want to sleep, and she is quite disdainful. Fang Tian Zhou smiled slowly his fingers rubbed He Zheng's tender face, and whispered, Interesting, then I will call you Zhenger. He Zheng rolled his eyes, and suddenly thought of the pickling voice of the old Northeastern buddies who were playing games with him when he called him, Help Zhenger. Zhenger. He nodded solemnly, and then again immediately lower her eyelashes and pinch the corners of her mouth to prevent laughter. Fang Tian Zhou said, Xiangguo gave Zheng Er to me to solve the important task of reproduction. Does Zheng Er know? This is also a test. If you don't know, it seems to be wrong to Fang Tian Zhou by being sent to Fang Tian Zhou without realizing it. If you know, how much does he know? Did he Xiangguo send to monitor Fang Tian Zhou? In the original book, Fang Tian Zhou didn't say these words to He Zheng, he didn't need to ask more he just brought it to enjoy. He Zheng's thoughts flashed, and the lie came at his fingertips, it's me, me, I have been in love with you for a long time, and I am willing to, change my body for you, and spread branches and leaves for you. Fang Tian Zhou smiled again. He Zheng lowered his eyelashes and his heart beat thumping. His words not only simplified the complicated things, but also expressed his loyalty to Fang Tian Zhou 
but it was not clear whether Fang Tianshou could see that he was lying. This man is fine. The man approached his soft and full lips, his eyes darkened, if this is the case, I will be disrespectful. He Zhang noticed his warm breathing and sliding fingers, and his whole body suddenly stiffened. That said, he has no room for refusal. He can't run away tonight no matter what. If he refuses to resist, he will be deceiving the king. Who cares, as soon as it comes, it's safe to play a palace escape game with a strange setting. He Zheng closed his eyes and was still stiff even though he tried to relax. Fang Tian Zuo's eyes gradually became gloomy, and a gadget sent by a lower official dared to deceive the king. When He Zheng woke up, he thought it was cloudy. What happened last night was like a dream, until he opened his eyes and saw the antique bed curtain, and there were still things left by Fang Tian Zhou and soreness on his body. He Zheng frowned and cursed in a low voice. He was lying in bed, hungry, super sleepy, and in a trance. Although what happened last night was not according to your wishes, Fang Tian Zhou was really handsome, so if it is purely from the experience of both parties, he is not too bad, after all, it is really cool. He Zheng suddenly choked with saliva and coughed twice. Footsteps suddenly came from outside, and a girl's voice came from Huang Ying, Is your son awake? He Zheng froze and said nothing. The tub is ready. If the young master wakes up, the servants will help you take a bath. His eyes circled inside the curtain again, and with a slight movement, he suddenly stopped. This bath, you have to take a bath. Let's clean up Fang Tian Zuo's sons first. You. He touched his throat and said in a hoarse voice, Go out. The voice said worriedly, Your Majesty said. Go out. After hesitating, the maid said loudly, Yes. Close the doors and windows. He Zheng spoke again. Although his body was sore, it was still much better than the state of being unable to move after being drugged yesterday. When there was no movement outside, He Zheng lifted the bed tent and stepped out. When he saw his legs, he was still stunned. His original skin was snow white that everyone envied. The cannon fodder in this book is worthy of being a fictional character. This leg is as white as a realistic version. He looked left and right, the carved doors and windows were closed, and this group of servants was really obedient. He stepped into the water, cleaned himself awkwardly and awkwardly, and let out a long breath. When he raised his hand to grab the water scoop on the side of the bucket, the skin on his arm also made him sigh. It is indeed the most stunning book in this book. Although it is cannon fodder, the setting is also against the sky. It feels really good to keep up with. Porcelain is the same, no wonder Fang Tian Shou couldn't hold it, and He Zheng couldn't put it down. In the past, when he was taking a shower at home, he always watched a live broadcast or played a small game. Although he didn't remember how many times Fang Tian Shou unloaded the goods in his body, after thinking about it, the possibility of Fang Tian Zuo's sons running away was still a bit high. He began to sit unsteadily. Whoa, He Zheng climbed out of the tub, his clothes were hanging on the screen he avoided yesterday, he wiped it dry and put it on and twisted, the long-sleeved long shirt was really unaccustomed. He Zheng raised his eyes and saw the bronze mirror in front of him. Out of curiosity, he trotted over to take a look, and was immediately stunned. The legendary unparalleled cannon fodder is really beautiful and has no friends. The first sight is amazing, the second is suffocating, the third. He Zheng suddenly felt, how does this look a bit like himself? It's just that the skin is smoother, the eyes are bigger, the lips are a little red, and the nose is a little bit firmer. Well, it's like a tenth level of beauty. No matter where he goes, this cannon fodder will definitely bring a stunning buff that will make those who see him stunned, and secretly it really hooked the hearts of many people. A character from the original flashed suddenly in He Zheng's mind. During the time when the original owner was in the palace, people often looked at him from a distance. One of them was Luo Yuanho. He was originally a wandering doctor in Jianghu, with unparalleled medical skills. Later, 
he was invited by He Xiongwo to develop a probiotic medicine, so he saw him from a distance. He Zheng glanced at him and fell in love at first sight. Although he has never entered the eyes of the original owner, he is the character who has the deepest feelings for the original owner in the whole book, and he often regrets his participation in the development of the childbirth medicine. How can he know that the medicine is actually for his sweetheart? And this person has now been recommended by He Xiongguo to serve in the Taiyuan Hospital. This is true, multiple lovers, multiple paths. He Zheng, who was still anxious about how to avoid contraception, was suddenly excited. Warning, your little cutie is getting ready to run away with the magician. Fang Huang, I arrived at the battlefield in five seconds. Number Because Luo Yunho is from Jianghu and has superb medical skills, he has made many friends. He Zheng pondered in his heart that if he could, he might be able to ask him to help him out of the palace. According to the character of the original Luo Yunho, he would not reject him. Since there is such an idea, it is natural to avoid suspicion. He Zheng couldn't go directly to the Imperial Hospital. After eating, he went out of the palace to look around, and called a young nearby to ask the way, how to get to Wenayuan Pavilion. Wenayuan Pavilion is the place where books are stored in the palace. Luo Yunho was recommended by He Xiongguo to enter the palace. In fact, it was for some extinct medical books in Wenayuan Pavilion. He Zheng remembered that Luo Yunho would often peep at the window of Wenayuan Pavilion and pass by outside. He Zheng, because He Zheng's later bedroom was in Piz Hall, and every time he came back from Fang Tianzhou, he had to pass by Wenayuan Pavilion. The little was very clever. As soon as he came out of the Emperor's palace and saw his stunning face, he knew his identity was extraordinary, and said, I'm afraid I can't tell you this guy who is wandering around. Does the son want a servant to show you the way? The ancients are really enthusiastic, He Zheng sighed in his heart, and said, Thank you very much. The servant doesn't dare, the son is broken. The little hurriedly walked in front with his head drooping and bent at the waist. He Zheng felt weird seeing him like this, and wanted to persuade him that he should straighten up when he was walking at a young age, but it suddenly occurred to me that this place is not modern and there are natural rules, so don't say the wrong thing to hurt others. The Emperor's Palace in Ying Kingdom is not far from Wenayuan Pavilion, and the little took him to walk for ten minutes before arriving, it's here. There were two road blockers standing at the entrance of Wenayuan Pavilion. When they saw him approaching, they stopped, who is coming? He Zheng was stunned for two seconds. It would be easier for him to introduce him if he asked his name directly, but who is this person? Does he have to add something before his name? He replied awkwardly, I am He Zheng, the concubine of He Xiang, and I want to go in and read a book. They obviously don't know who He Zheng is, where is the hand letter? Hand, hand letter. The important place of the library is not allowed to enter without His Majesty's decree. The two officers and soldiers were unselfish and determined not to be seduced by beauty. He Zheng could only take two steps back angrily, and when he turned around, he suddenly met a pair of stunned eyes. Master Luo is here. The heavy soldier guarding the door greeted the man. Luo Yunho looked upright and handsome, and at first glance he was an honest man, He Zheng couldn't help but smile at him. Luo Yunho was in shock. The first thing he saw at a glance was the unstoppable mark on He Zheng's neck thinking that it was impossible for He Zheng to enter the palace as He Zheng, and he immediately guessed the role of He Zheng in the palace. He Xiang actually gave that medicine to his own son. His pupils contracted, and pain flashed across his face for a moment. Young Master He. He took the initiative to speak. He Zheng of the original book knew that he developed the childbirth drug, so he thought he was in the same boat as his father and never gave him half a good face. But He Zheng, who has changed his lining at the moment, is different, he is slightly upright with anticipation in his chest, he said, Dr. Luo, I want to go in and read a book. Luo Yunho subconsciously looked at the two officers and soldiers, and one of them smiled and said, Sir, don't be too embarrassed, 
the library pavilion is an important place, and no one is allowed to enter without permission from His Majesty. Seeing his frown, He Zhang immediately said with understanding, Forget it, I'll find Fang. Your Majesty wants a copy. He was secretly afraid, and almost called Fang Tian's woe's name. If he was going to die, he was afraid that he would be beheaded if he called him by his name. Luo Yuanho stood there blankly watching him leave, his fingers hidden in his sleeves tightened slightly and clenched softly. He Zhang returned to the bedroom, rubbing his belly and swaying back and forth. This is not a modern place. You can know how to use contraception with a simple beta search. He must find a way to let Luo Yuanho know his thoughts and win him over to become a member of his front. When there was nothing to do, time passed very slowly, and He Zheng had nowhere to go. He was lying on the table and was confused for a while. Suddenly there were footsteps outside. The man with the crown who came in. The bead curtain on his head rattled, his eyes met He Zheng with a cold gaze, and he suddenly opened his hands not far from him. Immediately, a palace servant stepped forward to help him undress and remove his crown, and He Zheng realized later that he was coming back from the court. He immediately stood up straight and stared at the movements of the palace servants with wide eyes. The large court clothes were taken off, Fang Tian Zhou threw his wide sleeves, turned and sat down behind the table on one side, Nan Men Liang immediately took the tea from the palace servant and handed it to him. The palace servants served the food like running water, and He Zheng stood there dumbfounded, digging his toes on the solace of his shoes, not knowing what he could do. After the meal was finished, the palace servants retreated again. He Zheng looked around and wanted to follow, but was stopped by Nanmen Liang at the door, why don't you come and serve His Majesty's meal? He Zheng had to turn back, picked up the chopsticks and asked, what do you want to eat, Your Majesty? I'll take it for you. Fang Tian Zhou looked sideways, and Nan Men Liang snorted again, How dare you call yourself me before your majesty? Has Xiang Guo taught you the respect of elders and children? What kind of seniority and inferiority? Fang Tian Zhou saw that he was not older than him, and this kid in a modernist country must call him brother. He Zheng smiled lightly, and when Huan said, Then, what would your majesty want to eat? I will give it to E.R. Fang Tian Zhou raised his eyebrows, Nan Men Liang's eyelids jumped, and He Zheng secretly said that he was insane. He really doesn't read novels very often, and playing games has taken up a lot of his time. In fact, this book was recommended by a friend. He said that there was a cannon fodder with the same name as him. He was curious, and he read it on a whim. As for how the ancients called themselves, there is really no research. He racked his brains to think about how the original owner claimed to be in the book, and for a long time he choked out a sentence, Ben, my son. He remembered that He Zheng often spoke so eloquently. Nan Men Liang's face turned blue, Fang Tian Zhou narrowed his eyes. At that moment, He Zheng had the feeling that he would poke a blood hole in his forehead with a flick of his finger, but the next second, he laughed out loud and Nanmen Liang immediately improved his face and smiled. Fang Tian Zhou clapped his hand on his leg and said softly, Come here. He Zheng looked at the stool beside him, Fang Tian Zhou turned his head slightly, he immediately retracted his gaze, walked over, and sat on his lap obediently. He Zheng was held in his arms again, He Zheng was still very awkward and stiff, Fang Tian Zhou lowered his head, his warm breath sprayed on his face, and said, the Prime Minister is busy with affairs, and it is reasonable to neglect to teach Zheng Er. In. It's okay, let's eat. He Zheng didn't understand what he meant, but he understood that he let him eat. He sat in Fang Tian's woe's arms and picked up chopsticks. He first took a slice of beef that looked delicious and sent it straight to his mouth. The chopsticks that went away turned halfway, and they were brought to Fang Tian's woe's lips, and sweetly said, you eat first. He didn't notice that he forgot his honorary title again, Fang Tian Zhou chuckled and didn't care. Don't worry after eating for a while, Fang Tian Zhou's hand suddenly began to slide on him, and his lips began to touch his neck frequently, He Zheng turned his head, 
and suddenly thought, Your Majesty, I want to go to Wenayuan Pavilion. Read books, learn more knowledge. My dad. Dad really didn't educate me well, I want to be by your side in the future and be a sensible person who pleases you. His eyes were sincere, his waist was stiff, Fang Tian Shou kissed him with his lips bent, and chuckled, How is Zheng eating? How? He Zheng nodded and said obediently, I'm full. In that case, take a nap with me for a while. Satisfied, lustful, and lustful, Fang Tian Shou probably had enough to eat. He Zheng was forced to take a nap, and when he woke up again, the sky was dark. Fang Tian Shou obviously wanted a child very much, otherwise he wouldn't go to bed with him so often, and his stomach would have to get up soon after going on like this. But this time the bed was not in vain, at least He Zheng was pestering him to ask for the decree. The next day Fang Tian Shou went to court on time, and He Zheng couldn't wait to run to Wenayuan Pavilion. There are more than 700,000 volumes of books in the Wenayuan Pavilion. As soon as He Zheng entered, he covered his head, and all he could see were books. He tossed left and right for a while, pulled out a medical book and came out to find the words he wanted in advance. Sure enough, Luo Yunho came to consult the medical book again. He walked to the desk where he often stayed, and suddenly heard a movement. When he looked up, he saw a stunning face sticking out from behind the bookshelf. His heart skipped two beats, He Zheng looked left and right, walked over with a book, cleared his throat, still unable to hide his hoarseness, and said, Master Luo is a little late today. Go and check the pulse for Empress Luo Fei. Luo Fei? He Zheng, who seems to be the daughter of Tai Shi Chu, had trouble with He Zheng in the original book. He shook his head and decided to solve the current problem first, Tai Shi Luo, I casually flipped through this book, and there are a few I don't know a word. Luo Yunho put down his book and said gently, What word? Most of the characters here are in traditional Chinese. Although He Zheng doesn't know how to write, it is no problem to recognize it. He flipped through the pages, found a word, and said, I'm embarrassed to say that I don't know it, but you whispered to me. What is the word? He stood beside Luo Yunho, with a mesmerizing smell on his body. The smell was a medicine in the formula for childbirth. The medicine moistened He Zheng's body and made men who approached him distraught. The reason why He Jinhua wanted to add this herb was to make Fang Tian Zhou inseparable from He Zheng. Luo Yunho's Adam's apple rolled, and he lowered his eyes calmly, and said in a low voice, This is to avoid, to avoid. He Zheng snorted and turned several pages in a row, What about this? This word is. Luo Yunho saw the word clearly, his throat suddenly tightened, and he suddenly raised his eyes to look at him. He Zheng's eyes were clear, and a smile raised on his delicate and unparalleled face, I trouble Tai Dr. Luo. Contraception. Luo Yuanho's eyes were solemn, and He Zheng smiled again and said, I want to read some unofficial history, do you have any recommendations? Luo Yuanho turned around and took two books to introduce to him, and He Zheng sat down opposite him holding them. He can't play games now, and he has no foreign objects in his heart. He can easily read the book, but Luo Yuanho can't concentrate at all. He looked at the snow-white face of the person on the opposite side with a complicated expression and tried to restrain himself before he put the hand that wanted to touch him. Take it back. He lowered his head, He Zhang raised his eyelashes and glanced at him, then lowered it as if nothing had happened. If Luo Yuanho could feel guilty and offered to take him away, He Zhang could also avoid owed him a favor. He Zhang suddenly coughed, and Luo Yuanho immediately raised his head. Young master isn't feeling well. These two days. He Zheng smiled softly again, Your Majesty has been a little ruthless. His eyes were gentle, but Luo Yuanho could see a bit of bitterness in his eyes. His heart was in severe pain, and his clenched knuckles were so hard that they turned white, and he raised his eyes with determination. Interrupted, see Your Majesty. Flat body. Fang Tian Zhou had already changed his Mian clothes and strode in. He Zheng looked at Luo Yunho, 
who was reading at the same table as him. Turning his eyes, he suddenly coughed fiercely, and his snow-white cheeks flushed from the force. Fang Tian Shou paused, walked around quickly, frowned and said, What's going on? He Zhang covered his lips and waved his hand, and said in a hoarse voice, It's okay, why is your majesty here? Fang Tian Shou said solemnly, I in general he came to consult the military book. He glanced at Luo Yunho, who was saluting respectfully. He Zheng saw the gentle-faced man behind him, with a thin scar on his left face. A small light bulb suddenly lit up in his mind, and another important character appeared, the protagonist of the original work. General He. He Zheng stood up and saluted him. He knew that Fang Tian Zhou didn't care about He Run at the moment. As for He Run, when the original owner was Caesarian, he just learned that Fang Tian's Wo's father was the enemy he had been looking for for many years, so how did the two of them get together? Zhang also did not see. In short, according to his friend's spoiler, He Run is not as benign and harmless as he seems. If Fang Tian Zhou was not so angry with He Zheng's mindless behavior, he would not treat He Run as He Zheng after drinking. He wouldn't even think that without He Zheng, he could still have a partner with He Run, so the two of them may have to torture each other for a lifetime. That's horrible. He Zheng, who thought he was about to be taken out of the palace by Imperial Physician Luo, almost laughed out loud. Fang Tian Zhou hooked his chin with his fingers and said, Zhenner coughs like this, can the Imperial doctor have a diagnosis? Luo Yuan said kindly, I will send some throat pills for the son later. Fang Tian Zhou let go of He Zheng and said, If you feel unwell, then go back to the palace to rest first, and I will go back to accompany you later. He Zheng agreed, picked up the book and asked, Can I take this back? Fang Tian Zhou nodded, He Zheng's expression suddenly jumped up, seeing Fang Tian Zhou walking away with He Run, he immediately gave Luo Yuanho a wink. Be careful. Luo Yunho. How come the eyes seem to be electrified? His heart was beating wildly, and he didn't pack up and leave until He Zheng had left for a quarter of an hour. Fang Tian Zhou watched him disappear, his eyes gloomy. Imperial physician, he trusts me so much, and it seems that he is also interested in me. Fang Huang. Draw a knife number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thanks to the little angel who cast deep water torpedo, one flower is not a flower, thanks to the little angel who cast landmines, three scrolls of each other, two small pockets of the female hero, one recollection and clover staring deep, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, ten bottles of Fujian Chongfeng, Junyang Xiaowenzi, silent onlookers, Wushan, 5. Bottles of Shushu, Shen Bibai, and Clover staring deep, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. Luo Yuanho's throat pills were quickly delivered, but He Zheng didn't see anyone else. In order to see him again, He Zheng thought of a way to take off his clothes and roll on the ground. Now that the spring is cold and the ground is freezing cold, He Zheng shivered not long ago. When he woke up, his throat was on fire, He Zheng was lying on the bed dizzy, until the footsteps approached, Fang Tian Zuo's handsome face appeared. He Zheng felt pain all over his body when he saw him now, his beautiful eyes were filled with water vapor, his cheeks were flushed, his reaction was slow, and his voice was hoarse as if he could not say, Your Majesty. Fang Tian Zhou sat down with his clothes on, reached out to pick him up, touched his forehead, and frowned. Why is it so serious? He Zheng was wronged, it's so uncomfortable. Come on, go ask the imperial doctor. Luo Yuanho came quickly, and He Zheng couldn't wait to make eye contact with him, but soon a palace servant pulled up the bed tent, and He Zheng's outstretched hand was covered with white gauze. Luo Yuanho's hand was placed on his wrist through the white gauze, and He Zheng rolled his eyes frantically inside wishing Fang Tian Zhou to get out of the way and leave him some personal time with Luo Yuanho. How? Luo Yuanho let go of his hand and said to Fang Tian Zhou, Your Majesty, the son is suffering from a cold, Rong Chen can prepare some prescriptions and he will recover in a few days. 
Fang Tianzhou nodded, and He Zheng suddenly said, What recipe? Is it the kind of medicine that is so bitter? Before Luo Yuanho could answer, He Zheng was dissatisfied and said, I don't take bitter medicine. I think your throat moisture rising pills are doing well. You can make some Feng Han pills for me. Luo Yuanho can see through a little. He Zheng originally did all this for contraception. When the cold medicine prescription came out, it was not Luo Yuanho's turn to decoct the medicine. If he had added contraceptives to the prescription, it would have been hard not to attract attention. To save his life, but he Luo Yuanho must die. But making pills is different. Except for himself, unless he is specially checked, he will be unknowingly. He Zheng was still thinking about him. Luo Yuanho's heart became more and more painful, and he said solemnly, Feng Han Wan needs time, sir. Fang Tianzhou said lightly, then let's start with a recipe that is not bitter. The minister obeys the order. Luo Yuanho led the order to retreat, He Zheng was finally able to see the sky again, Fang Tianzhou sat down again and said, Zheng Er is still afraid of suffering. He Zheng felt guilty for a while, suddenly lowered his eyelashes, and said in a trembling voice, Originally, I was not afraid of hardship, I was sent to the Prime Minister's house by my mother since I was a child, and I never received any love, but now that I have met Your Majesty, I am actually afraid of hardship. Here. He slowly raised his slender eyelashes, his eyes were gleaming, tears were shaky, and he whispered in fear, Your Majesty, am I too lacking in self-knowledge? Fang Tianzhou pursed his lips, wiped the tears that fell from his eyes with his big hands, and said, Have a good rest, don't think too much. He Zheng lay down, his hand still pulling on his sleeve, Your Majesty, are you busy? Not busy. He Zheng endured the disgust and said softly, Then you will stay with me more. Fang Tianzhou said, Okay. Just as he agreed, someone over there came to report, Your Majesty, Chu Taishi asks to see you. He Zheng was overjoyed and immediately looked at him, Fang Tianzhou said, What is he doing here? This. Taishi said that there is something important to discuss. Fang Tianzhou frowned, of course He Zheng wanted him to roll around quickly, but thinking of the situation in the original book that the more He Zheng kept him, the more he could not keep it, he immediately grabbed his arm ignorantly, you promise to accompany him. I can't go. Fang Tianzhou looked at him for a long time, then suddenly smiled, just when He Zheng thought he would throw himself away. He said, Yes, I promise to accompany Zheng Er. Let Nanmen Liang go and send Taishi back in person. Government, we have something to discuss tomorrow. He looked at He Zheng's somewhat confused face, and curved his lips, Is Zheng Er still satisfied? He Zheng. Cough, cough, cough. He Zheng's body softened, and he nodded quickly, full, satisfied. Fang Tianzhou put away his smile slightly, his eyes gloomy and uncertain. When he was about to go to sleep, Luo Yuanho sent someone to bring the medicine that was not too bitter. He Zhang began to feel sleepy after drinking it. Fang Tianzhou undressed and went to bed. I'm sick. I am invulnerable to all poisons. He Zhang was stunned, this guy pulled him to the bed whenever he had time and He Zheng felt like he was going to do it for the past few days. He avoided Fang Tian's woe's lips and said, Does your majesty want a child? Fang Tian Zhou asked, Could it be that He Ziyang Wo sent Zheng Er over for other purposes? He Zheng, who asked this rhetorically, began to worry about his head again. After all, the original owner, Lao Tzu, and his younger brother really wanted to rebel. Naturally, he couldn't show his cowardice, but he was used as a reproductive tool, and he couldn't help but get really angry, I'm not feeling well, I don't want it. This look is very vivid and real. Fang Tianzhou lightly smiled and kissed his cheek, and said, I'm impatient, Zheng Er is not angry, be good. He Zheng struggled to get out from under him, turned his back and bit his fingernails. Luo Yuanho, ah Luo Yuanho, if you don't work harder, 
the shell of your sweetheart will really be pregnant with someone else's flesh and blood. Luo Yuanho really took this seriously, and came to see him early the next morning with the he had made from staying up late. Fang Tianzhou had already gone to the court, and He Zheng, who had already got up to eat, couldn't bear to be excited when he saw him, Tianyi Luo. Luo Yuanho, with blue eyes in his eyes, put the ball on him and said, Young master, is there still any discomfort? Yes. He Zheng said immediately, Come here for the diagnosis. When Luo Yuanho stepped forward and put his hand on his pulse, he Zhang took another box of pills from his cuff. Luo Yuanho acted cautiously, Feng Han pill is Feng Han pill, and contraceptives are contraceptives. He Zhang restrained his joy and said, I heard that Imperial Dr. Luo has the title of a genius doctor in the rivers and lakes. He is really young and promising. It's all bullshit. I, cough, this young master is also a little longing for Jiang Hu. If you have time, you must go out and take a look. Luo Yuanho's fingers trembled, his eyes met He Zheng's, and he read countless messages from his eyes. He retracted his fingers and said, Your Majesty loves you so much, you must respond to your requests. He Zheng smiled and said, I'm very curious. I don't know if I can go to the Imperial College Hospital to chat with Imperial Physician Luo more often in the future. Luo Yuanho couldn't help laughing. Young master, please. It was impossible for Luo Yuanho to chat with him in the emperor's palace, so he left after checking his pulse. He Zhang turned his back, and immediately ate the contraceptive pill first, and prayed that he would not win the lottery in the few days he didn't eat the pill. After eating, he found a place to hide the balls, and happily prepared to go out for a walk. Although there are many rules in this palace, Fang Tianzhou has not restricted him, but it is too unsafe to sleep with Fang Tianzhou every day. How did He Zheng move to the piss hall in the original book? Suddenly, a group of people came in front of them. The leader was carried on a sedan chair with a floating gauze, and the hair ornaments were swaying back and forth in the light gauze. Seeing this, He Zheng quickly stood aside. He has gradually understood the rules of the palace these days. Although he was slept by the emperor, he was not canonized, and he had no official rank when he was in the Prime Minister's residence, so what he should have called himself that day was actually a Kamen. He bowed his head and knelt down like the others in an attitude of not causing trouble, but the group still stopped in front of him, and a woman's voice came coldly, You, raise your head. The little palace maid beside He Zheng raised her head timidly, and she said again, It's not you, it's you. He Zheng looked at his nose and heart with his eyes, and remained motionless. The palace concubine's sedan chair fell down, and a palace maid suddenly kicked He Zheng's shoulder and shouted angrily, The noble concubine is talking to you, are you deaf? He Zheng was kicked and fell backward, and immediately raised his head. Oh, it turns out, this is that Luo Fei. It was only after she found fault that Fang Tianzhou let him move to Piss Hall. He Zhang cheered up, Kamen pays respects to the noble concubine. Luo Gaifei's eyes were full of anger. He Zheng, is this the child born by He Ziangguo's concubine? It's so stunning, no wonder His Majesty hid him in the bedroom, because he didn't even want to see his own father. You are the male pet sent by He Ziangguo, He Zheng. Although this incident has been spread all over the palace, the word male favorite is inevitably humiliating. The palace people around were secretly sweating on He Zheng. With the back seat hanging in the air, Tai Shi Chu's daughter was the head of the harem. He Zheng didn't take these two words seriously in his heart, but his silence made Luo Fei very happy. He Ziangguo is so loyal and willing to send his own son to the palace for His Majesty to enjoy. After the double humiliation, the palace maids and eunuchs around Luo Fei covered their lips and chuckled. He Zheng looked at his nose and heart and continued to be silent. Concubine Luo Gui sneered, Ben Gong almost forgot, after all, it's a mere thing, your mother, but the fire is all over the country, and there are countless guests entering the curtain. He Zheng, have you counted it? He Zheng couldn't help but said, 
it turns out that the noble concubine even went to the Gulen courtyard to listen to the corner of the bed. Taishi Chu is really a good girl. Chu Shuoluo obviously didn't expect that he would dare to talk back, and after stunned for two seconds, he burst into anger, a mere ordinary citizen dares to talk back to Ben Gong, come here, give Ben Gong a round of applause. Immediately beside him, a rolled up his sleeves and came up. He Zhang glanced at it out of the corner of his eye, and suddenly he couldn't kneel. He had already been kicked for no reason just now, and he didn't want to be slapped again. What's more, only Fang Tian Zhou was the one who held his life. What did he do so carefully to the palace concubine who didn't even exist in the original book? The so-called catch the thief first catch the king, He Zheng suddenly jumped up and slapped Luo Fei's face first. There was silence. Luo Gai Fei's people are all honest. He Zheng's palms were sweating, and he was a little nervous and a little excited. This was the first time he hit a woman and it was the emperor's woman. He almost forgot his last name after the fight. The maid who kicked He Zhang was shocked, Chu Shuoluo was crazy, she covered her face and looked in disbelief, how dare you do something to this palace. The maid was also angry, do you know who she is? She is the direct daughter of Taishi Chu, the favorite concubine of the current sage. So what? I'm still He Ziongwo's concubine. As for the men in the sage today, he has a lot of favorite concubines. How many men do you ask him? He Zheng seems to have liberated his nature at this moment, arrogantly akimbo. What do you count as a concubine? Anyway, imperial physician Luo was about to elope with him, and even Fang Tian Zhou had to go to him. Fang Huang, hello. Zheng Zheng, don't talk, wait until I finish this chapter. Open text three more to make up. The next day will start. Number thanks to the little angel who voted for me or irrigated nutrient solution thanks to the little angel who cast landmine, two scrolls of each other, one Susan, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, ten bottles of Fujian Chong Feng, nine bottles of one and the other painting scrolls, five bottles, two bottles of Penglei Temple Juxiao, thank you very much for your support. I will continue to work hard. Fang Tian Zhou just went to court when Nanmen Liang hurriedly told him, young master he beat up concubine Luo Gui, and is arguing for his majesty to judge. Fang Tian Zhou paused slightly, Zheng Er. Exactly. Fang Tian Zhou raised his eyebrows, and the corner of his mouth twitched, what do you think? Nanmen Liang said sincerely, this young master he is somewhat different from our investigation. Fang Tian Zhou nodded, I think so too. With the sound of the emperor is coming, the hall immediately knelt down, and He Zheng knelt down with him, with both hands on the ground, but his knees were suspended in the air and did not really touch the ground. Fang Tian Zhou glanced at him and strode in. Chu Shuoluo covered his face with pear blossoms and reigned, Your Majesty, you have to decide for your concubine. This He Zheng is so bold he actually dares to slap his concubine. Fang Tian Zhou stopped beside her. Chu Shuoluo's jade-colored face turned red, his hair was messy, his luxurious hair accessories were crooked, and there was no trace of his usual dignified and helpless appearance. But no matter how wronged she was, she didn't dare to jump directly on Fang Tian Zhou for comfort, she only dared to lie down on the ground and cry. Fang Tian Zhou frowned and said, why don't you ask the imperial doctor to see the imperial concubine's injuries? Immediately, a palace servant led the order, Fang Tian Zhou walked up to the main seat and sat down, saying, Why are you making trouble here? He Zheng raised his head, Chu Shuoluo had already started to cry again, My concubine is now in charge of Fengjian, and I heard that He Ziongwo has given His Majesty a favor, and I have been living in His Majesty's palace these days. So I thought of coming to see you quickly, arrange a place for him, after all, His Majesty's palace. First, he lives in an unconventional place, and second, if the matter spreads, the concubine is afraid that outsiders will say that His Majesty is not. He mentioned that he is the only man of His Majesty, and that he will live in His Majesty's palace and never leave. 
Your Majesty is wise, and the only person who will live in your palace is the Empress. He is so ambitious and does not understand the rules. How can the concubine let it go and ignore it? After a few words of preaching, he actually moved his hand on the concubine. Your Majesty, you must be the master of the concubine, Your Majesty. She really deserves to be the Emperor's woman. In just ten minutes, she immediately made up a set of well-founded nonsense. If it wasn't for He Zheng's personal experience, I'm afraid he would really believe it. He Zheng clicked his tongue secretly, Fang Tian Shou had already turned to him, is that so? He Zheng raised his head, put his knees on the ground temporarily, and said, Of course not, she humiliated me, she. Chu Shuoluo interjected, Your Majesty. What the concubine said is true. Fang Tian Shou frowned, Is your concubine questioning my ability to judge? Chu Shuoluo's face turned pale, I dare not. Fang Tian Shou once again set his eyes on He Zheng, Speak. He Zheng then said, It was she who first used a humiliating tone to say that my father sent me to His Majesty to enjoy and then sarcastically said that I was afraid that I was not my father's own, otherwise how could he be willing? I didn't understand, I was given to your majesty is my own willingness, and the entire he family is deeply honored. Why does it seem like being with his majesty is an insult to me when you say it from your concubine's mouth? Could it be that in your majesty's eyes, his majesty is not worthy of me? Chu Shuoluo was furious, you are talking nonsense. He Zheng flattered his words, then I will definitely be unhappy, but I also know that I am His Majesty's man, and she is His Majesty's woman, not to mention that the first level official crushes people to death, she is a noble concubine and I am a grassroots. He Zheng showed a dissatisfied expression and said, so even if I feel injustice for Your Majesty, I am more or less willing to give her some face for His Majesty's sake, but she actually said that my mother is a... Is it? Fang Tian's woe's face darkened. His mother-in-law was just an ordinary family, and he was often ridiculed because of his mother-in-law's background since childhood. When he was a child, what he thought most often was, how can one's origin be a choice? Then I contradicted her, and she was going to hit me. Originally, her palace maid had already kicked me, and she had already taken advantage of me. So of course I couldn't let her continue to take advantage of me, so I hit her. He Zheng didn't forget to label himself a little padded jacket, originally, I thought it would be fine for the two of us to resolve this matter privately, but she actually insisted on letting His Majesty make a decision. You have just dealt with state affairs, and you have to deal with this matter again. Son, Your Majesty, I really don't want you to work like this, otherwise, I'll let her call back. When he described the big incident of a small man beating the palace concubine, it became a child slapstick, and Chu Shuoluo looked at him as if he was looking at a monster. Fang Tian Zhou said, if this is the case, then the big things will be reduced to the small ones, and the concubine will be willing. Fang Tian Zhou said this to show that he has made up his mind. Chu Shuoluo said, it's up to your majesty to decide. Since this is the case, the imperial concubine has taken advantage of words, and Zheng Er has taken advantage of the money. It is not painful or itchy to read, but the imperial concubine is injured. From today, the imperial concubine will take good care of her injuries, and Zheng Er will be suspended for a month to show fairness. Chu Shuoluo clenched his back molars, He Zheng frowned, both of them felt that it was unfair to them. Band what the hell? He still wants to leave the palace. Fang Tian Zhou changed his voice and said, Fang Cai, who kicked the Zheng Er. Do you still remember? He Zheng was taken aback for a moment, and a conditioned reflex pointed. Chu Shuoluo groaned in his heart, and the palace maid knelt down with a pale face. Which foot does it kick, At eh? The palace maid suddenly froze and kowtowed frantically, Your Majesty, spare your life. Your Majesty, spare your life. Left foot or right foot? The palace maid was trembling like chaff, and begged for mercy with tears streaming down her face. The rest of the people held their breaths, 
and the hall was almost dead silent. He Zhang finally realized that something was wrong. Fang Tian Zhou is a person who is full of viciousness and cruelty in his bones. He does things according to his preferences. At this moment, he is afraid that the bloodthirsty desire will come up again. Chu Shuoluo just stood up and knelt down, Hong Yun is only under the orders of the concubine. Your Majesty, this matter has passed, and the concubine is willing to reconcile with young Master He, please spare her life. Don't you think your concubine can control my mind? Chu Shuoluo was terrified, I dare not. Fang Tian Zhou was accustomed to acting recklessly, and he hated the most when someone controlled his decision. He Zhang looked at the pair of master and servant, and his legs were weak. But he really didn't think that if someone kicked him, he deserved to break a leg. Cold sweat broke out on his forehead, and Fang Tian Zhou had already said, Drag it down, both feet are cut off. A more terrified scream and pleading for mercy. He Zheng swallowed his saliva and suddenly said loudly, Your Majesty. Fang Tian Zhou looked at him, He Zheng knelt on the ground and straightened up, his originally snow white face was as pale as paper, he forced himself to calmly said, I suddenly, suddenly remembered, it seems that it wasn't her who kicked me. Your Majesty, I have been physically in the past two days. I feel uncomfortable, dizzy, and prone to hallucinations. Can Your Majesty wait for me to feel better, think about it slowly, and then re-identify? If someone breaks a foot because of him, He Zheng is only afraid of having a nightmare. It seems that Zheng Er is indeed very ill. You have forgotten what I said to your concubine just now. He Zheng was stiff all over. Luo Gaifei can't control Fang Tian's woe's mind, how can he control it? He Zheng raised his face and stared at him with wide eyes. He was very afraid and insisted. He knew that he could not accept Fang Tian's woe's broken leg, but he did not dare to continue to intercede because he was afraid that he would be killed. Can only stand still. Someone walked in and dragged the palace maid out. At the moment of going out, Fang Tian Zhou suddenly said, Forget it, then wait for Zheng Er to think about it. A word lives, a word dies. The palace maid slumped to the ground. He Zheng's stiff and straight back slowly bent, and his body trembled slightly. He had to plan as soon as possible and leave the palace as soon as possible. He was really afraid that one day he would suddenly have a life lawsuit on his back. I didn't kill Boren, but Boren died because of me, which He Zheng never wanted to experience in his life. The hall gradually dispersed, He Zheng glanced left and right, and quickly got up and walked out, saying that he was walking. Rather than fleeing, he was almost trotting, and a voice suddenly came from behind, Stop. He could ignore Luo Gaifei's words and pretend he didn't hear it, but Fang Tian Zhou, he didn't dare. He Zheng stopped suddenly and turned around slowly. Fang Tian Zhou had already opened the memorial behind the desk, Come and study ink for me. He Zheng looked at Nan Men Liang, who had already walked out with a wink, and He Zheng walked slowly in and out as if a knife was on his neck. There was a bleak feeling of who will go to if I don't go to hell in my heart. He had only seen the occasional scene of ink research on TV, but it was the first time he had actually done it. He looked left and right, except for the one under Fang Tian's woes but, there was no stool at all, and he could only stand in resignation. Holding Mo Ding in his hand, he Zheng slowly drew circles on the ink's tone table. The ink's tone table was still working for a long time. He wondered why this was happening, and found Fang Tian Zhou looking at him expressionlessly. He Zheng froze, guessing that water should be poured, and then found a small delicate water bowl next to the ink's tone, with an er picking spoon in it. With a sense of intuition, he picked up the small spoon to drop the water. To the ink's tone. He secretly looked at Fang Tian's woe's face, although he was still expressionless, his expression was a little less gloomy. He Zheng breathed a sigh of relief and added two more drops, Fang Tian Zhou frowned. As the son of the Prime Minister, no one will teach you to study ink, no one will teach you the rules, no one will teach you to read. He Zheng's brain began to run rapidly again, and he whispered, 
I'm at home. I'm not favored. It's all when my younger brother is studying. I look at it secretly. I know some styles, but I don't know the essence. He was pretending to be pitiful again. Fang Tian Zhou didn't know whether to believe it or not. He stood up, and He Zheng's heart skipped a beat, and his conditioned reflex squatted down, like a frightened criminal who was suddenly caught by the police, and almost put his hands on his head. Fang Tian Zhou. He Zheng realized that he was overreacting, and hurriedly lowered his head and patted Fang Tian's woes boots, and blew, you have dirt on your shoes, I'll pat it for you. Stand up. He Zheng could only stand up. Fang Tian Zhou is taller than him, and he can feel the abundant strength in him at any stand. He Zheng is under pressure when he is close to him. Fang Tian Zhou took his hand and picked up the ink ingot, and said solemnly, a drop of water is enough in the early stage of ink research. If the ink ingot is to rotate flat, it must be evenly stressed. This is the way. He Zheng put his left ear in and out of his right ear, trying his best to look serious, thinking about his imperial physician Luo with pursed lips. Now that he is grounded, I don't know what will happen in a month. Speaking of which, in ancient times, was a month's grounding for thirty days? Fang Tian Zhou stared at him and found that his eyes were straight as if he were wandering. He moved his fingers up, squeezed He Zheng's chin lightly, turned his face from the front to himself, and said in a low voice, Did you hear it? He Zheng suddenly returned to his senses, What, what? The anger condensed, Fang Tian's woe's brows overflowed with coldness, and He Zheng looked wronged, Your Majesty knows that I like you, and I can't leave you for a moment. When you approach me, my body becomes weak, and my mind is blank. I'm not so close. I speak. He said confidently, then I, of course I can't listen. Fang Tian Zhou. Sen Han's anger faded, his eyes flashed, and he seemed to be in a state of uncertainty. I like you, I can't live without you, as soon as I get close to you, my body becomes weak and my head goes blank. What is this, why is it that my heart is beating suddenly and I have difficulty breathing? Fang Huang, my heart is beating, breathing is difficult, and my scalp is numb. How can I break it? Zheng Zheng, don't worry, just wait until I elope with Imperial Dr. Luo. Come. Tell the Emperor aloud what this is. Number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thank you for the little angel who cast landmine, you you, each and each drawing scroll, regain, he he one, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, 207 bottles of ink dyeing, 10 bottles of fujian chong feng, 5 bottles of momo y, p by lo man yu, in one bottle, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. It's not that Fang Tian Zhou hasn't heard similar words, but few people can say it as candidly as He Zheng, as if it should be so, as if he was born to like him. Fang Tian Zhou kissed his cheek, He Zheng shrugged his shoulders conditionally, Fang Tian Zhou returned to the chair in a good mood, picked up the pen and said, Don't be in a daze, it's good to study ink. He Zheng had to continue to study ink. Usually it is so easy to look at the TV camera to study ink but now I really get started and realize that it is not easy. The most important thing is that this is a job of patience, but this is not a game console, how can it be patient? He Zheng quickly used the ink stick to grind it for a while as if he was venting hard, and then slowed down his movements because of soreness and dejection. He was still dizzy and sleepy after standing for a while. Fang Tian Zhou said suddenly, put it down. He Zheng immediately lost the ink ingot and cheered up, then can I retire? Fang Tian Zhou said, pinch my leg. Pinch your uncle's leg. He Zheng squatted down obediently, clenching fists with both hands and hammering on his legs, wishing he could break his legs directly, but his strength is indeed limited, pinching his legs is more physical work for him, squatting on his knees without realizing it when he touched the ground. He knelt at Fang Tian's woe's feet and fell asleep. There was a slight weight on his leg, Fang Tian Zhou looked down and saw the other side tilted his head, 
his cheek resting on his thigh, he was still a little conscious, and when he realized that he was holding his thigh, he forced his eyes and continued pinching his legs. It didn't move for a while. Fang Tian Zhou lowered his head and frowned. Studying ink is the foundation of learning, and pinching your legs is the foundation of serving others. Is this He Zhang really the one from He Xiang's family? He patted He Zheng's face, his tentacles were hot. Come on. Nan Men Liang trotted in immediately, Fang Tian Zhou said, go and ask for an imperial physician. He Zheng's wind chill became worse this time, and he developed a high fever. He was stupefied and had nightmares. Fang Tian Zhou sat on a chair and flipped through a book. He asked without raising his head, how is it? Luo Yuanho frowned and said in a low voice, reporting to your majesty, it must have been caused by fright. I need to add some medicine and take it with Feng Han pills, so I can rest in peace and recover in a few days. Then there's Dr. Loro. Your majesty's words are serious, it is the duty of the minister. Luo Yuanho got up and packed his things, but he couldn't help looking at the bed. In the final analysis, if he hadn't made the fertility drug himself, he wouldn't have been sent to the palace as a fertility tool, and he wouldn't have gotten sick so frequently. His chest was stuffy and painful, Luo Yuanho stepped back and walked out of the palace gate. He Zheng was dazed and had nightmares, watching Fang Tian Zhou cut off the palace maid's feet, the maid cried out to the sky, her whole body was blood-stained red, struggling to crawl towards him, screaming as she crawled, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Give my feet back, give my feet back. The nightmares repeated, He Zheng burnt hard to wake up, and could only struggle in vain, uttering inaudible sleepless nights. The high fever lasted all night, and it didn't stabilize until the early morning. When He Zheng woke up, he found himself in a trance in a different place. He sat up abruptly, his eyes swayed again, shook his head, and pulled away the heavy bed. A young with a handsome face stepped forward and said with joy, Young master is awake, this servant will send someone here. Report back to your majesty. He called someone to help He Zheng out of bed, and He Zheng asked suspiciously, Who are you? The servants agree, and His Majesty specially sent them to serve the young master. He Zheng nodded, he remembered that Chen Yi was also a character in the original book, and he was quite clever. He looked around in confusion, and asked, I changed place to live. This is the Piz Hall. Your Majesty gave it yesterday. In the final analysis, it is also to block the mouth of the noble concubine. Don't worry, my son. Your Majesty will come to see you from time to time. He Zheng wished that he never came to see him. But he actually has a house, and it is still such a big house. He Zheng can't wait to get out of bed and run to visit. This temple is really not small. When running around, he encounters several new faces to greet him, all of whom are sent to serve. He Zheng is a little excited, he has a house. Such a big house, and a nanny to serve, is a dream life. But this enthusiasm quickly died down. He was only wearing a single shirt, and he was wearing a coat that was hurriedly draped over his body. He stared at the closed door in front of him, and his mood became unhappy again. He felt that there was more than one door in front of him, as if there were dozens or hundreds of them, and he was locked in these layers of tightly closed doors. It's true that Piz Temple rewarded him, but in the end, he was just borrowing it. If you don't lose your life, maybe you can live for decades. If you lose your life, someone new will move in soon. He Zheng sat in front of the bronze mirror, looked at himself with long hair fluttering in it, then lowered his head to look at the wide sleeves on his body, and sighed again. I don't know when Imperial Dr. Luo will be able to take him away. To be honest, Imperial Dr. Luo is actually quite good. He has excellent medical skills, is honest and gentle, and is considerate. If he can get himself out, it is not unacceptable for him. He was busy playing games all day in modern times, and he had never met anyone who could meet his eyes. Because of his physical discomfort, He Zheng fell back to sleep without eating much for breakfast. 
He is now confined in his palace, and has nothing to do. After sleeping, he wakes up in a daze. He doesn't live in Fang Tian's Wo's palace, and he doesn't see anyone else for a day. In the afternoon, Luo Yuanho came over. Lying in front of the window and looking at the palace gate in a daze, He Zheng's eyes immediately lit up, Emperor Doctor. Luo Yuanho was stunned for a moment, and then said hurriedly, There is a Tui Yer over there, sir, pay more attention. He Zheng reached out and closed the window, and turned back in two steps. Luo Yuanho had already walked in. He asked, Why did you come here? Your Majesty ordered you to pay more attention to your son's condition, and you must not repeat it, so run more frequently. He Zheng asked him to check his pulse, staring at him with both eyes, Luo Yuanho's ears gradually turned red, and what pulse was still being checked, his ears were full of his own heartbeat. Master, why are you looking at me like this? He Zheng said, I'm the one who rarely finds a conversation. When they saw the doctor, Shen Yi and several palace servants stood with their heads bowed, and they dared not say anything clearly. He Zheng lowered his eyelashes and asked, Am I okay? The fever has subsided, but the young master is weak, so you must pay more attention. Just remember that you can't have it again. He Zheng stared, I am false. No man likes being told that he is false but he thought that the original owner seemed to have been abused since he was a child, and he was indeed easy to get sick, so he changed the subject, then can I walk in the yard? If it's thicker, it's feasible. Then you walk with me in the yard. Luo Yuanho nodded. When they left, the palace people were watching from the corridor. The yard was so big, and walking around was just a matter of walking around, but the space was large and the words were not so easy to be heard. He Zheng asked him, If I'm better, won't you come? Luo Yuanho's heart throbbed slightly again, and he said in a low voice, I have already shared a book with my friends in Jianghu, Fiji, and I will definitely come up with a countermeasure as soon as possible and take the sun out of the palace. He Zheng said, We're gone, will Fang Tian show chase and kill us? Thinking about it seems a little exciting. Young master, be careful. Luo Yuanho reminded him not to call the king's name directly, He Zheng secretly shrugged, he sighed, and said, The sky and the earth are big, there is always a place to stay. It's just. Only. He Ziongwo sent you to the palace. If you leave, I'm afraid the He family will be implicated. He Zheng had already thought about this, and he said indifferently, It's none of my business. He Ziongwo and He Jinhua, an adult scum and a small scum, He Jenke doesn't care whether they live or die. Luo Yuanho was a little surprised by his rudeness, but also felt that his words were straightforward and pleasing, and said, If the sun is ready, we can make the plan in a month. He Zheng looked over immediately, Luo Yuan said kindly, Ying has the custom of spring and autumn prey. After one month, it is spring hunting. He Zheng felt that a month was too long, but when he thought that he would still be grounded for a month, he felt that it was just right. He said, Can you have a detailed plan? In the next preliminary plan. Your Majesty is here a loud shout interrupted Luo Yuanho's unspoken words. He Zheng was scratching his head, but he still had to kneel down with Luo Yuanho and salute, I see your Majesty. Fang Tian Zhou strode in, his long, dark eyes resting on them, and said, flat body. The two stood up, He Zheng subconsciously patted his knee, Nanmen Liangjian's forehead jumped again, and he looked sideways at Fang Tian Zhou, seeing his indifferent face, so he smiled again. Fang Tian Zhou walked towards He Zheng. Luo Yuanho consciously stood to one side. How is your body? The doctor said that I'm almost healed. Fang Tian Zhou reached out and touched his forehead, then held his hand, why is your hand so cold? Is it cold? He Zheng immediately sighed in his hand, rubbed it, and spun around Fang Tian Zhou again, put his hand in his hand again, and asked, so what? Fang Tian Zhou stared at his clear eyes, his eyes overflowed with a smile, stretched out his arms to hug him, bowed his head and kissed, it's still cold, 
I'll keep you warm when I come back home. Luo Yuanho lowered his head, and Nanmen Liang complimented with a smile, the imperial doctor's skillful hand. Luo Yuanho smiled, father-in-law praised. Nanmen Liang sighed, He Xiang's son is really a stunner, but his majesty loves it very much. If it is true, how Xiang Xiang can give birth to a dragon son, the imperial doctor is the best. Nanmen Liang looked envious and cupped his hands again, at that time, our family will rely on you a lot. Luo Yuanshu's face remained unchanged, and he said gently, it is the duty of a minister to do things for his majesty. Nanmen Liang let out a soft chuckle and passed him by. Luo Yuanho's eyes were gloomy, and he pursed his lips and left. Once again carried to the bed by Fang Tianzhou, He Zhang rolled over and rolled away as soon as he was put down, saying, I haven't eaten yet. Fang Tianzhou grabbed his ankle and pulled him over, and said, Zhang Er must abide by her duty, thinking that I am the main thing to relieve my worries. He came to kiss, He Zhang pushed, and said loudly, Hungry. Fang Tianzhou raised his eyebrows, This is Shi Shi. He Zhang doesn't care. I'm hungry. Fang Tianzhou asked, Zheng Er wants to resist the decree. He Zheng was stunned. Fang Tianzhou was satisfied, he bullied him up and was kissing him, when a low voice suddenly came out from under him, hungry, said, hungry, what, hungry, me, hungry, king, hungry, Chuan, hungry, rich, hungry, expensive, hungry, fear, hungry, even, hungry, why, hungry, abstinence, hungry, law, hungry, clear, hungry, rule, Fang Tianzhou. He stared at the person under him who gave up struggling, He Zhang met his gaze, tears of grievance filled his eyes, and sang a word and cried, hungry, little, hungry, white, hungry, vegetable, hungry, ah, uh. hungry, ground, hungry, in. Hungry, yellow, hungry, ah, hungry, two, hungry, three, hungry, year old, hungry, ah, hungry, not, hungry, your, hungry, mother, hungry, what? Because of the seriousness of smoking, a snot bubble came out. Fang Huang questioned, could it be that I can't manage his meal? Later, after Fang Huang lost his stunning man, he gained a stunning, pig. Piglet, goo. Number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thanks to the little angel who cast landmines, a sin, one picture scroll, one day face like an evil ghost, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, ten bottles of fermented rice balls, six bottles of a sin, five bottles of baity, four bottles of fujian chong feng, one bottle of cat dot deb. Cat, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. Fang Tianzhou poked his face lightly, can I cut Zheng Er's tongue? He Zheng shut up for a second. In fact, he dared to risk his death and shout starvation for two reasons. One was that his contraceptive pill was missing, and the other was that he felt that Fang Tianzhou couldn't kill him just because he was hungry. But Fang Tianzhou seemed to be able to do everything. His eyes were still watery, but his expression was already cowardly, and he whispered like a mosquito, but I'm really hungry. A quarter of an hour later, they sat at the table for dinner, Fang Tianzhou sat there slashingly, resting his cheeks with one hand and tapping lightly on his legs with the other, staring at him with deep eyes. He Zhang lowered his head and chewed slowly, recalling where his little went. He secretly glanced at the man who was staring at him all the time, and his heart suddenly shrank his little ball seems to be in Fang Tian's woe's palace. He had no idea at the time that he would move to Pizai Hall unconsciously, thinking that he could at least pack things in person. He hid Xiao Wanzi closely, and it was impossible for the palace officials to look for it, so it should still be where he hid at this moment. He Zheng ate every grain of rice, Fang Tian's woe's face was expressionless, but his eyes became darker and darker. He Zheng carefully held his breath, trying not to make any noise that might anger him, until Fang Tianzhou moved. 
he threw the bowl on the table in a conditioned reflex, and stood up suddenly, I'm full. Fang Tianzhou looked at him coldly, and He Zheng looked left and right with a smile, Your Majesty, it's not dark, let's go out for a walk, shall we? Fang Tianzhou patted his leg, He Zheng wanted to refuse, but the trembling double push took the initiative to walk towards the man, and sat tremblingly on his lap. He showed a professional smirk again, You haven't eaten, I'm afraid you're hungry. Fang Tianzhou still looked at him like that, He Zheng froze, and then said, I, I actually recognize the bed a little bit, Your Majesty, can we go back to your palace to rest? He tried to please Fang Tianzhou, and the latter said lightly, My bedroom should only be accommodated by the Queen. What's the matter, Zheng Er is living here for fun. The implication of these words is that if he lived for a few days, did he really think of himself as a master? He Zheng always felt that he would be pulled out of his tongue or dragged out to be chopped no matter what he did next. He changed the subject and said, Then, does your majesty really not go out for a walk? Fang Tianzhou curled his lips, but it was Nanmen Liang who asked, What do you think of Nanmen? Nanmen Liang is the person who understands Fang Tian's woes mind the most in the original book. He immediately bowed and said, Your majesty's words are consistent, since he has already restrained Mr. He, naturally he cannot take it out. If you have to go out, at best, you are ignorant, at worst, you want to slap the emperor in the face. He Zheng's face suddenly turned pale. Fang Tianzhou asked, did Zheng Er hear it? He Zheng hurriedly nodded his head like a chicken pecking rice, his eyes were cautiously ingratiating, Fang Tianzhou leaned on the chair, reached out and touched his cool face, what else does Zheng Er ask for? No, no more. Since you can't get the small balls, it's useless to delay the time. Extending your head is a knife, and shrinking your head is also a knife. What's the difference between the last bed and the hundred times? He Zheng's heart was bitter, and he didn't dare to show the slightest bit on his face, but Fang Tianzhou brought up the old thing again, by the way, what did the maid who kicked Zheng Er look like yesterday? Have you thought about it? He Zheng froze, not yet, not yet. Then Zheng Er, you should think about it tonight. Fang Tianzhou wrapped one hand around his slender waist, slipped one hand down lightly, and tapped his knuckles on his ankle, if you can't think of it, I will take your pair. His words came to an abrupt end, and He Zheng suddenly hugged his neck and blocked his lips with his lips. He Zheng's heart beat faster and his mind went blank. He had already anticipated what Fang Tianzhou would say next. If he didn't want to pull out a ghost to vent for him, He Zheng's feet would be chopped off tonight. And Fang Tianzhou said that as long as he said it, he would definitely do it. He Zheng naturally couldn't find others out of his conscience, but he didn't want to hurt himself, so he could think of blocking Fang Tian's woe's mouth. The only way. Fang Tian's woe's eyes narrowed, He Zheng clumsily teased his lips and tongue, an impulse passed, he slowly let go, the snow white and beautiful face was timid and shy, and there was more fear and fear in his eyes. Fang Tian Zhou pursed his thin lips tightly, his dark eyes blew a storm, and his face was gloomy, like a windy desert, making people terrified. He Zheng knelt down abruptly, staring at the thorn gold black boots, shivering, it's hard to restrain people's feelings. Please, please forgive me. With a loud bang, Fang Tianzhou suddenly stood up and cracked the table with one palm. He stared at the ant like He Zheng under his feet. Simply, bold. Presumptuous. Court death. Fang Tian's woe's chest bulged, and the phrase pull it out and behead it stuck in his throat. The palace staff of the entire piss hall were kneeling on the ground with their heads on the ground, shaking like chaff. Fang Tianzhou stepped out like a gust of wind. Nanmen Liang got up from the ground and looked at He Zheng who was kneeling on the ground in disbelief for a while, you, you. Not dead. He quickly retracted his trembling fingers, and the wind was burning like the sky above. The piss hall was silent, He Zheng was soaked in cold sweat and after a long time, he slowly raised his head, 
confirmed that the crisis was over, and swayed up from the ground, saying, Go, prepare hot water, I will take a shower. A memorial was thrown to the ground, and Nanman Liang, who had just entered the door, picked it up swiftly, and said softly, Your Majesty, He Shizhong asks to see you. Let him go. Nanman Liang didn't dare to say more, and just turned around to report, Fang Tian Zhou suddenly said again, Which one is in the middle? He Xiong Wo's direct son, He Jin Hua. I forgot, he has already been promoted. Fang Tian Zhou said, Why? I said I wanted to ask for an decree, look at my brother, and by the way, I sent some clothes and items that Mr. Zhang had at home. Let him go back and wait. Yes. Fang Tian Zhou picked up the memorial and it happened that He Jin Hua handed it over, so he threw it out with a flick of his hand. He Jin Hua's arrival made his heart that he wanted to calm down again chaotic, Fang Tian Zhou's face was cold, and He Zheng's suddenly close face and the soft lips that covered it flashed repeatedly in his mind. He seemed to smell a strange scent on him again. Fang Tian Zhou didn't come to see He Zheng for a week in a row. When his condition gradually improved, his hall welcomed an uninvited guest. He Jin Hua bowed when he came to the door, brother. He Jin Hua is handsome and lovable by nature. The corners of his mouth always have some upward arcs. Even if he doesn't smile, he seems to be smiling. What are you doing here? He Zheng was still his own brother sitting there, but when he opened his mouth, he seemed to be a different person. He Jin Hua was stunned for a moment, then looked left and right, go down, I have some family matters to tell my brother. He Zheng glanced at him, stood up and walked in. He Jin Hua hurriedly followed and grabbed his hand, Zheng Er, are you mad at me? He Zheng rolled his eyes, I know exactly what you are, so I'm too lazy to be angry with you. It's no wonder that many people who read the original book said that He Zheng took the main character's script but became canon fodder. Seeing that this emotional line was arranged, his younger brother was his concubine. He Jin Hua pulled him over and said, Father is determined to do this, and I have stopped it. Zheng Er, do you think I am willing to give you to that tyrant? His brows were full of affection, his eyes were full of pain, and his face was I am also forced to be helpless, but He Zheng was indifferent. To be honest, he Zheng of the original book was indeed deceived by his dog-like appearance when he was neglected during pregnancy. If it weren't for cheating and rebellion, he would not have been cut open by Fang Tian Zhou. He Zheng felt angry when he thought of his future ending. He Jin Hua knew that he was already Fang Tian Zhou's person and even came to say such words. Excuse me, are you okay? He Zheng tried to calm himself down, if it's okay, now, please get out. He Jin Hua smiled bitterly, you're still mad at me, right? Don't think too much. I'm living a good life. I really don't have time to be angry with you. Come on, He Jin Hua, don't pretend to be affectionate to disgust me. Let's go. He Jin Hua shuddered, Zheng Er, do you really want to be so heartless? He Zheng was going to annoy him with his deadly appearance, what else? Do you want me to cheat with you behind His Majesty's back? Don't look at me in shock, I know what you think, I'll give you two minutes, get out, or I'll hit you. He turned and walked towards the table, He Jin Hua frowned, suddenly stepped forward and hugged him, He Zheng widened his eyes, seeing that he was about to rush up to kiss him, grabbed the brush beside him and stuffed it into his mouth. He Jin Hua. He Zheng stepped on his foot pulled out the brush while he was in pain, and said angrily, If you don't know anything about fun, I'll tell your majesty to see if he doesn't take your head off. He Jin Hua's mouth was really bitter this time, and there were dark ink stains on the corners of his mouth, which looked like a funny face of bitter gourd. He was forced to turn around and walk out, suspicious in his heart. They have been ambiguous for so many years, it is impossible for He Zheng to really have no feelings for him but He Zheng in front of him seems like a different person. When he was about to go out, he suddenly stopped, Brother, I... Shut up! 
He Zheng had no sympathy for the person in the book who calculated He Zheng from beginning to end, can you not be so stinky and shameless as a human being? He rolled one by one, shameless one by one, and He Jin Hua's face was also a little ugly, I just want to tell you that this box is the one you used before. I don't want anything. He Zheng kicked the box, which was quite heavy, take it all away, don't come to me again. After he finished speaking, he walked over and opened the door of Piss Hall. He threw the pen with He Jin Hua's saliva in his hand and threw it far away, but it happened to hit a person's chest. Someone immediately scolded, who is so bold? How dare to disturb the Empress Dowager and the Emperor's holy car? He Zheng. Fang Tian Zhou looked down at the pen that fell under his feet, his gloomy eyes fell on He Zheng's face. The Empress Dowager next to him knew his character, worried that he would start killing again, and immediately scolded, Come here, quickly drag this little who doesn't understand the rules down to hit the twenty big boards. He Zheng. He Jin Hua, this dog is better than a disaster star. Fang Huang, I'm not going to hit my daughter-in-law. Zheng Zheng, wow 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 this chapter tells us, it is everyone's responsibility to protect the environment. Number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thank you for the little angel who cast landmine, one for each other, one for this non-white one, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, Qian Qian ran out of money again for 15 bottles, one bottle in an instant, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. He Zheng remembered that Fang Tian Zhou had been miserable since he was a child, but he had a grandmother who truly cared for him, so after he killed his brother, killed his father and strangled him and seized the throne successively, he gave the grandmother, who was originally a concubine, the eldest grandmother. Honor Although Fang Tian Zhou was cold-hearted and not very close to this grandmother on weekdays, he was a kind-hearted person, and he always respected his good elders. He Zheng remembered that the Empress Dowager was kind, and he was afraid to say this to save his life, but to be honest, he really didn't want to suffer. A thug came out from the back, and He Zheng felt a shudder in his heart. He hurried down the steps in three or two steps, and knelt down from a distance, see the Empress Dowager, see your majesty. Back to the Empress Dowager, Kamin is not an eunuch. The Empress Dowager was nearly seventy years old, her eyes were dim, and Fang Tian Zhou looked at him sideways for a while, her eyes flashed with stunned, this, when did such a handsome child come to the palace? Why has I Jia never heard of it? Fang Tian Zhou said, he is the son of He Xiang. The Empress Dowager suddenly realized, she immediately stepped forward to hold up He Zheng's arms, and said with a smile, it's this child, oh, this looks so handsome, how long is this? He Zheng glanced fearfully at the person who had just stepped forward to hit him, and asked timidly, Empress Dowager, are you still hitting me? Ijia's eyes are not good, so you should be a little who doesn't have long eyes. Emperor, are you all right? Fang Tian Zhou looked at him coldly, He Zheng swallowed his saliva and whispered, I didn't mean to. The Empress Dowager knew how important He Zheng was to the royal family. Her grandson was violent and arbitrary, and there were countless women in the harem who refused to ask for any of them. He Zheng was the only one who really got on his dragon bed. She softened her voice, Emperor. Fang Tian Zhou said, You are not allowed to go out during the ban, have you forgotten? He Zheng immediately ran back to the door in three or two steps, and knelt down again. Fang Tian Zhou looked at He Jin Hua, Have everything been delivered? He Jin Hua said respectfully, when I return to your majesty, I have brought it all here. Have you talked about it at home? Yes, I will retire now. Seeing that he was in a bad mood, He Jin Hua bowed and stepped back, but subconsciously glanced at He Zheng again. Brother, it doesn't seem to be what I remembered. Fang Tian Zhou helped the Empress Dowager to leave, the old lady couldn't help but looked at He Zheng a few more times. She was determined to say something, but she held back. He Zheng kept kneeling until Fang Tian Zhou and the others were far away before moving. 
Shen Yi immediately ran up to support him, He Zhang hissed with pain in his legs, and frowned, pick up the pen and bury it in the garden, and close the door. The palace people did as they were told. He went back into the house first, leaned on the soft couch and rolled up his trousers. A few days ago, Fang Tian's woes kneeling was not healed. The two kneelings were blue and purple, and it hurt when pressed. Smoke. Shen Yi brought the medicine up, and He Zheng said, I'll do it myself. Although he is favored in modern times, he is not used to being served by others for a while. He was really fed up with this kind of inferior day, accompanying the king like a tiger, and at this moment he really understood the meaning of this sentence. I can't wait to put on my wings and fly out of the palace. But, going out of the palace is easier said than done. He Zheng took the medicine, lowered his trousers to cover his knees, and was dejected. Shen Yi looked at him very distressed and persuaded, Your Majesty is busy with business, the servant believes that when he is free, he will definitely come to see the sun. He Zheng looked at him speechlessly. He wondered if he was the same as a grudge in the eyes of everyone, but in fact, he really didn't care if Fang Tian Zhou had forgotten him or whether he would come to see him. He was just confused and didn't know when he would be able to escape from this deep cage. Perhaps it was because of the conflict at noon that Fang Tian Zhou thought of him again. At three quarters of the time, He Zheng heard a chanting like a dream, Your Majesty is coming. He Zheng just picked up the chopsticks and was about to eat, but the people in the palace had already knelt down. He thought about his knees, and when Fang Tian Zhou stepped in with one foot, he knelt down with his hands on the ground, See His Majesty. Fang Tian Zhou didn't rush him to get up. He walked over with a blank face and stopped beside He Zheng. The black boots and the hem of the clothes were spotless, and He Zheng heard his cold voice, Go down. He Zheng didn't dare to touch the ground because of the pain in his knees, and continued to support his hands on the ground. Fang Tian Zhou circled around him expressionlessly, and suddenly stretched out his feet from the side. He Zheng's knees were hanging in the air and his toes were suddenly stuffed into the gap between his knees and the ground. He Zheng. His knees suddenly touched the ground, his head hit the ground, and his thoughts went blank for two seconds before he said, Your Majesty forgive me, I. You. Fang Tian's woe's eyes were gloomy, if you don't kneel when you see me, I can cure you of the crime of bullying the king. You have no eyes of the king, you can't discipline yourself and you don't know how to reflect on it for a few days. Throwing a pen outside the hall disturbed the holy driver, He Zheng, how many lives do you have? He Zheng knelt down at his feet, so frightened that his head went blank. He wanted to cry a little. Mom Fang Tian Zhou came back to settle the account with him. He probably won't see the sun tomorrow. He has lived in modern times for more than twenty years, how could he adapt to life in the palace at once? That's all. It's not easy to make a living in the palace. It's better to die early and die early. Prepared to die, he still held his breath. Fang Tian Zhou sat down on the chair. The room was silent. After a while, He Zheng heard him say, Stand up. Realizing that he seemed to have one more episode to live, He Zheng stood up abruptly and swayed a little because he stood up too violently. He Zheng looked at his indifferent expression, held his breath, Fang Tian Zhou asked coldly, Are you dissatisfied with me? He Zheng's legs softened, and his knees touched the ground, which made him twitch in pain, and tears came out in an instant, I don't, I'm not dissatisfied. Fang Tian Zhou frowned deeply, I haven't cut you yet, why are you crying? It's okay not to ask. When he asked, He Zheng felt extremely aggrieved, and the tears fell even more. But he couldn't say that he couldn't get used to life in the palace, let alone that Fang Tian Zhou made him exhausted, he sobbed, I, I hurt, I hurt so much. Fang Tian Zhou asked, where is the injury? He Zheng was swaying on his knees, his knees swayed from side to side and felt pain, but without the support of his palms. All the strength of his body was pressed on his knees, which was even more painful. Tears crackled down her pure white face, and that exquisite face can really make people cry. 
knee, knee pain. Fang Tian Shou pursed his lips, suddenly reached out and hugged him, He Zhang was put on the soft couch, tears were still falling, Fang Tian Shou glanced at him, stretched out his hand and tore the trouser legs. He Zheng's skin is white, and the injury on his knee is still very bluffing, like a stain on a snow-white paper, a large group of blue and purple, which is shocking. Fang Tian Shou saw the medicine bottle on the small table, took off the stopper, took a sniff, and said, Have you wiped the medicinal oil? He Zheng stretched out his hand to wipe his tears, his wet eyes lowered timidly, and whispered, I wiped it myself, it hurts too much, I can't put my hands down. Fang Tian Shou poured the medicated oil on his hand, rubbed it gently, and the palm of his hand covered the wound together. He Zheng conditioned his legs to shrink, but was pressed by his palms together. The man looked at him, and He Zheng didn't dare to mess around. Verb, move. Fang Tian Zhuo's palm was like a warm baby, gradually getting warmer, the aching knee was soothed, and after a while, that hand began to massage the bruise on it with moderate force. He Zheng frowned and was in pain, but he could also see that Fang Tian Zhuo was doing his best thinking that this man would work hard enough for the next generation. He Zheng rubbed his stomach. In fact, he was already hungry. If it wasn't for Fang Tian Zhou, he would have eaten his meal. He turned his face to see the cake on the table, and reached out to take it carefully. Fang Tian Zhou suddenly raised his head, and he hurriedly shrank back, his tearful eyes like a timid little animal. Hungry. No. He Zheng replied, seeing that he was dissatisfied with his reply, he added aggrievedly, I just want to eat. Fang Tian Zhou said, eat it. He Zheng didn't dare, Fang Tian Zhou poured the medicated oil again, rubbed his other knee in the same way, and said, I order you to eat it. He Zheng ate it, holding the hibiscus cake in one hand and keeping the other under it to prevent the from falling out, biting and swallowing like a squirrel for fear of disturbing him by making a sound. Fang Tian Zhou looked up at him inadvertently, and he immediately stopped as if the pause button had been pressed, like a cub who was restless eating beside a big monster, opened his eyes slightly, and was wary of whether he would suddenly take himself as a prey and eat it in one bite. Lose. Fang Tian Zhou withdrew his gaze, he started eating again, cautiously, and peeked at him between intervals. Fang Tian Zhou finished rubbing the bruises for him, and said, Before the injury is healed, I don't need to kneel, let's get up and eat. He ordered someone to bring water to clean his hands. He Zheng Awu shoved the hibiscus pastry that had been chewed for a long time into his mouth, chewed and swallowed hard with Fang Tian Zhuo's exaggerated expression on his back, and then stroked his throat. His face turned meekly, and he sat down obediently at the table. Fang Tian Zhou handed the towel to the servant, sat down beside him, his eyes fell on the corner of his mouth, and he stretched out his hand. He Zheng was pressed the pause button again, his eyes followed his hand, Fang Tian Zhuo's fingertips rubbed the corners of his delicate mouth, withdrew his hand and picked up the chopsticks. He Zheng quickly served him vegetables and said, Your Majesty is working hard, you should eat more. After he finished clipping this and that, he quickly filled Fang Tian Zhuo's bowl. The eggplant on the top swayed and fell from the bowl to the table. He Zheng immediately retracted his hand, as if nothing had happened. Eat your own. Fang Tian Zhou put down his chopsticks. He Zheng, who was pressed the pause button again. He hesitated, and put down the chopsticks gently. Fang Tian Zhou said, I'm going to take a bath. Nan Men Liang hurriedly ordered someone to prepare hot water. He Zheng thought about his contraceptive pill in his mind, and he kept pulling it into his mouth for a moment. He decided to eat ten meals a day in the future and grow himself into a pig. He didn't believe that Fang Tian Zhou, who was covered in lard, could still talk. Fang Tian Zhou was bathing in the side hall, He Zheng took the opportunity to eat, and just wanted to slip away. Nanmen Liang smiled and called, Young Master, Your Majesty will let you go in and serve. He looked happy, as if this was a great gift to He Zheng. He Zheng thought to himself, Bah. He said, 
hiccup Nanmen Liang. Can do it. So unseemly, your majesty will chop you down sooner or later. After eating a very fat and fat pig pig Zhang Akimbo proud, look, my fat legs are gone. Fang Huang, if you have hips, you can do whatever you want. Number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thanks to the little angel who cast landmines, one picture scroll, one day face like a ghost, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, 50 bottles in the depths of Clover's gaze, 5 bottles in the face like a ghost, the author stuck out his tongue while crying and licked 2 bottles, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. He Zheng walked towards the side hall, and there was already fog behind the screen. He moved in small steps like a snail, scolding Fang Tian Zhou silently, and when he got to the screen, he quietly probed his head. Fang Tian Zhou turned his back to him, leaning against the edge of the bucket with his long hair loose, his slender arms resting lazily on the bucket, revealing only his broad back. Fang Tian Zhou's bedroom has a separate bath and coming here to take a bath is really wronging him. He Zhang pouted, what is it to be compared to a human being? It's maddening. When he got here, he really understood that in modern times, even the most powerful boss can be beaten with a sack or scolded a few words to relieve his anger. Tian Zhou, if you beat him and scold him, he has to put his life in it. Why are you so sensible today? He Zhang retracted his head in a conditioned reflex, and he hesitated to think about the meaning of this sentence, he immediately walked in, Your Majesty is really wise and wise, if you don't look back, you know it's me. He also heard the meaning of those words, Fang Tian Zhou didn't let him serve at all, the dead Nanmen Liang was lying to him. He took a ladle and poured water on Fang Tian Zhou's body. He saw that he had some old wounds on his body. He Zhang never paid attention to them when they were usually closed to work on errands. The room was silent, except for the sound of rushing water from time to time. Fang Tian Zhou frowned slightly, and suddenly opened his eyes to look at him. He Zhang was staring at an irregular depression in his chest with a curious baby-like expression. He noticed his gaze, and immediately moved his foot to the right subconsciously, hiding behind him. Go! Fang Tian Zhou grabbed his arm, He Zheng's heart tightened, and he was forcibly pulled in front of him. There was a hint of danger on the man's handsome face, what's the smell on you? He Zheng wondered, the taste? He sniffed his arm, what could he smell? Could it be that he approached Fang Tian Zhou, bad breath? Ha Fang Tian Zhou threw him out, his forehead jumped, his face gloomy. He Zheng stood aside with his hands down and whispered, I've already kissed you, but I still dislike it, hum. Fang Tian Zhou's ears and eyes are clear, frowning slightly, and after a while, he said, undress, come here. He Zheng understood for a second, dissatisfied for a second, free and easy for a second, Fang Tian Zhou grabbed his wrist again, and sniffed as if he was a Chinese medicine. It wasn't the first time he noticed this smell, but it was the first time he discovered that the smell wasn't from the clothes, nor was it added to the incense burner, but he Zheng itself, emanated from the skin and bones. The taste is very light, but it is quite long and hard to notice if you are not careful, but with he Zheng's unparalleled skin, the perfect combination makes men's adrenal hormones secrete rapidly, making people, difficult to restrain. Fang Tian Zhou's eyes darkened, before you entered the palace, what did you take? Birth medicine. He Zheng recalled that there was this passage in the text, He Zheng was forced to be poured into it by being pressed on the ground. Thinking of this, a very real picture suddenly flashed in He Zheng's mind, as if he had experienced it himself. The man who couldn't see his face was sitting on the chair and knocking on the armrest. He was pressed to the ground like a dog by several people, and the rich soup was forced to pour from his mouth. No matter how he struggled, he was forced to squeeze his chin. His face turned pale, and the overly real memory left by the original owner made him almost delusional, as if he had really experienced it. Not once, but seven days. In order to change his physique, he couldn't eat, and He Xiang didn't allow him to go out. 
He drank a bowl of progeny every day for seven days before he was able to see the sun again. After he was released, he suffered a serious illness. He Xiongguo invited a staff member who knew medical skills in the house to see him, saying that his physique was indeed much weaker, and this was the price of forcibly changing his physique. And He Zheng also found that his appearance had undergone some changes. The originally stunning face became more delicate, as if it had been plated with light. After more than a month of recuperation, he was sent to the palace. What a miserable man! It's a shame not to be the protagonist. Fang Tian Zhou stared at him and said solemnly, What did you think of? I. He Zheng came back to his senses and said, I just remembered the experience when I changed my physique. Fang Tian Zhou said nothing, He Zheng lowered his eyes and sold miserably, during that time, it was so painful so painful, every day the skin seemed to be peeled and stitched alive, the bones seemed to be smashed and reassembled, and the blood vessels were rushing. It's all roaring little bugs. Fang Tian Zhuo's eyes flickered, He Zheng said that he felt distressed and cried, and looked at Fang Tian Zhou with wet eyes, in fact, I am also very strong, and I won't kneel and walk, and the wind blows. It just gets hot. Oh, what did I say? Don't take it to heart, your majesty. He Zheng said to keep half of it, and reached for the water ladle, but was caught by him again, put on your clothes. He Zheng quickly put it on and wrapped it up. Fang Tian Zhou said, go on. He Zheng said, no, no more. Fang Tian Zhou raised his eyebrows. At the end of the resignation, He Zheng's eyes turned red, and he started his performance again, actually, I know that I said that His Majesty doesn't like to listen to it, and I didn't want to tell you, after all, all of this is my own willingness to be affectionate. Liking you was originally my own business, but since you asked, I will boldly ask for grace. Okay, okay. It was my business to like you. Fang Tian Zhou heard this confession for the first time, and said in a low voice, Speak. He Zheng bit his lip in embarrassment. If you don't like it, I will consider you innocent. He Zheng closed his mouth, I, I still won't say it. For the first time in his life, Fang Tian Zhou was aroused by curiosity, and his appetite was caught. He said gloomily, if you don't say anything, I will pull you out and chop it up. He Zheng's tears suddenly came up, and the expression on his mouth flat to cry made his heart twitch slightly, Fang Tian Zhou paused and before he could say that's all, he heard him whisper, I will think. I want your majesty to love me more. He Zheng said in a soft voice, I have suffered so many crimes, and I want my sweetheart to love me. I know that your majesty is different from ordinary people. Even if you put me in your heart a little bit. Diyudiu, I'm satisfied too. The dog is like Fang Tian Zhou, so be kind to Lao Tzu. The day is really fast. Fang Tian's Woshan couldn't hear the real roar in his heart, he lowered his eyelashes and slowly lifted them up, meeting He Zheng's timid little eyes, and ripples appeared in the lake in his heart. He Zheng. This is the first time someone can say that inviting pets is so natural and reasonable. As if he doesn't hurt him, it's unreasonable. Fang Tian Zhou stretched out his hand, and He Zheng immediately took the initiative to bring his face over. Lying on the lip of the bucket like a cat, Fang Tian Zhou chuckled and kissed his lips, then I will hurt Zheng Er more tonight. Okay. To be honest, He Zheng actually doesn't feel very well. But he obviously didn't have the right to protest. He was pulled into the water and came out wet. The sky was dark and completely dark. Shen Yi glanced at Nan Men Liang, and immediately closed the door after Fang Tian Zhou carried He Zheng into the bedroom. Nan Men Liang was holding the whisk, full of surprises, His Majesty seemed especially happy today. This son of the He family is very good at coaxing people. He Zheng experienced in life in ancient times that he hadn't had for more than twenty years. He fell asleep and rolled over, his thin white legs unconsciously leaned over the person next to him, and he rubbed towards the warm place. After a few seconds, he suddenly woke up. Fang Tian Zhou is looking at him, 
maybe it's an illusion, his eyes are unexpectedly rare in a century, gentle, afraid to be blindfolded. Your Majesty! He Zheng was about to sit up in a hurry, but was pulled back by Fang Tianzhou, Zheng Er is exhausted, sleep a little longer. He Zheng blinked, then why don't you go to court today? Today's rest, no dynasty. He Zheng nestled in his arms and rolled his eyes. He found that Fang Tianzhou was like a little girl, and he had to coax, lie and flirt. Selling miserably, showing softness, and loving words can appease him and make him obedient. But what if you take a break? In modern times, He Zheng usually plays games. He plays games 365 days a year. There are no girlfriends, but there are a few male friends, but boys rarely go shopping. At most, they will go to see the release of the hero movie they like very much. Speaking of which, he hasn't had time to watch Avengers 4, and he doesn't know what the final battle is like, and whether the heroes he likes will come alive. He Zheng felt a little regretful in his heart, and after thinking about it for a while, he brought it back to the present. So, what entertainment was there in ancient times to rest? A thought suddenly popped into He Zheng's mind. Out of the palace. As soon as these two words came out, He Zheng was immediately a little nervous. Fang Tianzhou hugged him and stroked his soft hair with big hands. He Zheng peeked at his expression, opened his mouth and closed it again. No, dare not say. Very guilty. He was afraid that if he said it himself, Fang Tianzhou would sensitively notice his plan to leave the palace. Your Majesty, what are your plans today? Bathing, burning incense, and after a few days of Qing Ming, we will worship our ancestors. There are so many things. He Zheng asked, then what does His Majesty usually do to rest and play? Riding horses, hunting, enjoying flowers, going to the military camp, making memorials, throwing pots. Fang Tianzhou recalled lightly, and said, What do you want to play with Zheng Er? I want to shoot and hunt on horseback. He Zheng couldn't hide his excitement, raised his hand modestly, and chose a way to go out of the palace. Fang Tianzhou thought for a while and said, Can you ride? He Zheng immediately withdrew his hands and shook his head softly. Fang Tianzhou smiled, Spring hunting in a few days, I'll take you to see it. Yes, but I want to learn. He Zheng said softly with anticipation, If I learn it, maybe I will give you a long face. I think about. Maybe I'm very talented. He Zheng was blowing the pillow wind, and he kept talking, Maybe I don't need you to teach me, I can ride a horse when I touch it, and pull a bow when I see it. Seeing the little animal, who 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 three shots in a row, all hits. Pull the bow and shoot the arrow, pierce through a hundred paces. Fang Tianzhou looked at him. He Zheng immediately shut up. Forget it. Fang Tianzhou finally thought about it, and his voice was soft and indulgent, since Zheng Er wants to leave the palace, I will show you. Zheng Zheng, the back of the neck is cold. Fang Huang, haha. Number thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thanks to the little angel who cast landmine, a fei doesn't want to talk, a flower is soft, one and the other is painted, meow, song changsha one, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, 28 bottles of Chen Rainyu, 20 bottles of No Gentleman, Song Changshu, 12 bottles of Takes a Pavilion Master, 7 bottles of Forgetting to Set a Nickname, Don't Blame Me, 2 bottles of Daodu, an Ander Braised Pork, 1 bottle of Cat.Deb. Cat, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. Not to take him on horseback, nor to take him for hunting, but to take him out of the palace. He Zheng's expression remained unchanged, but his heart was already beating. He doubted that Fang Tianzhou saw something, this sentence seemed to be a meaningful metaphor, or a warning. He Zheng got up and put on his coat, and when he got up to get his coat, he suddenly realized that something was wrong. The man was laying down his long hair and showing his shoulders, leaning against the bedside and looking at him lazily. 
He Zhang hesitantly walked over with the clothes brought by the servant, this. Fang Tianzhou stretched out his arms. He Zhang deeply felt the grievances of the ancient concubine. Not only did he have to serve the bed, but he had to dress him after serving the bed. There are no human rights anymore. He Zhang sullenly climbed back onto the bed and waited for him to put on his shirt. Fang Tianzhou looked at his expression and chuckled, unhappy. Of course he was not happy, He Zhang himself was still sore and weak, and it wasn't him Fang Tianzhou who was tired after finishing the work. He Zhang quickly vetoed, how could it be, it is clearly my honor to serve his majesty. Fang Tianzhou casually stared at him with his arms long and interested. He Zhang showed a false and happy expression, but the hand that tied his belt was very clumsy. Fang Tianzhou's chest showed a large area when it was tied, and he was puzzled. And then decided to ignore it, since it wasn't him who didn't dress well and felt uncomfortable. Just as he was about to go down, Fang Tianzhou suddenly stretched out his hand and hugged him back, saying, If you don't get dressed, come again. He Zheng's head hit his chest, and Fang Tianzhou was unsurprisingly happy when he saw the other party's momentarily depressed expression, followed by resignation. After finally waiting for Fang Tianzhou to get dressed, the servants brought the accessories, He Zheng pursed his lips, leaned over to help him hang it around his waist and finally let out a long sigh of relief and said happily, OK. Come on, your majesty, you are so handsome. Fang Tianzhou said, it's hard work. No way, it is a blessing for the grass people to serve his majesty. He Zhang finished pleasantly, turned and sat on the bed to put on his clothes, put on his sleeves and suddenly stopped and started to be in a daze. Fang Tianzhou, hey. He Zhang wobbled. I'm tired, take a rest. Why don't you let the servants serve you? He Zheng is depressed, why can't he stop while serving Fang Tianzhou, and he can't stop wearing his own clothes if he wants to? He paused and replied obediently, I don't want anyone else to touch it except your majesty. Fang Tianzhou chuckled and said, Zheng Er wants me to serve me personally. He Zheng made a panic defense, how dare the grass people? Your eyes clearly don't say that. Fang Tianzhou curled his lips, and he felt more and more that this He Zheng was very different. There was a sense of cleverness all over his body. As soon as those beautiful eyes rolled, the ghost idea came up secretly. It was his duty to serve himself, but it was really interesting that he dared to ask himself to serve him back. The servant brought hot water, Fang Tianzhou turned around and walked out, He Zheng punched his back and continued to wear clothes with soft bones. He Zheng himself is in the Piz Temple these few days. He usually eats white porridge and vegetables for breakfast. He is mainly vegetarian. An extra plate of meat at noon is the best thing to do. But today, Fang Tianzhou came to Piz Hall, and there were actually four meat dishes for breakfast. However, He Zheng was used to his modern life. Although he was not worried and had no appetite for meat for breakfast, he took a piece of steamed rice cake and put it in his mouth. Deliver. Fang Tianzhou didn't move his chopsticks, but looked at him. Nanmen Liang suddenly stepped forward and kicked He Zheng's stool. He Zheng's hand shook, and the rice cake fell back onto the plate. He Zheng glared at him, Nanmen Liang winked at him displeased, He Zheng stood up after realizing it and went to Fang Tianzhou's side to wait for him to eat with a grave expression on his face. Forget it. Fang Tianzhou opened his mouth, let Nanmen serve you, sit down. He Zheng squeezed the public chopsticks, sat back on the chair, and quickly put food into his bowl to vent his depression. If he wasn't afraid of losing his temper, he would have slammed it into his mouth. Fang Tianzhou glanced sideways at his bowl, he Zheng immediately stopped the action of serving vegetables, and ate for a while, making sure that Fang Tianzhou was no longer staring at him, and then relaxed. Fang Tianzhou didn't mention that he was still on foot restraint. This time he left the palace very low-key. He Zheng saw the carriage leaving the palace from a distance and asked him excitedly, Is that the one? Is that us? Car. Fang Tianzhou nodded, 
and He Zhang couldn't bear the excitement, can I go up? Go! He Zhang flew over, and a little also hurriedly ran towards the car. When He Zhang arrived, he was lying on his back with his back to the sky. He Zhang was a little angry and said, Why, you are blocking me? The little lying on his stomach was surprised, the servant asks the young master to get on the bus. What car are you blocking me from getting in? This. What the little had to say, He Zhang had already turned his head and ran to the other side, holding his hands and raising his legs, and flexibly climbed up. He got into the car, bumped his on the soft seat cushion, and looked around happily. Fang Tian Zhou kept the scene just now in his eyes, and stopped outside the car to talk to someone. He Zheng's heart had already flown out of the palace, and he couldn't wait to stick his head out from the inside. Fang Tian Zhou noticed it, whispered a few words to Nan Men Liang, and turned around. The little just now hurried over again. Damn it, it's okay to block my way, Fang Tian Zhou, do you dare to block? Just as he was about to remind him, he saw Fang Tian Zhou raised his leg and stepped on the back of the man on the ground, and the other foot on the carriage. He Zheng's dazed expression met his deep eyes, and he suddenly retracted his head. Human footstool, so that's what the little meant. He Zheng's excited mood subsided slightly, the carriage started to drive, and the interior was silent. He Zheng sat down to the side, feeling complicated. Fang Tian Zhou suddenly stretched out his hand, and He Zheng was hugged by him. His eyes met, Fang Tian Zhou asked, Zheng Er is not favored. Maybe he has never used a foot pedal before. Haven't he even seen him? He Zheng carefully avoided his sight, and said, Just, I saw less. I didn't react for a while. Fang Tian Zhou smiled and hugged him tightly, kissing him intimately. He Zhang shrank his neck, feeling a little uneasy. But this feeling soon disappeared after the carriage entered the lively market. He began to move restlessly on Fang Tian's woe's legs. He opened the curtains on this side and looked out, and then closed the curtains on the other side. He opened it a little and looked out. Although he was deliberately restrained, the wonder and novelty in his eyes were inevitably revealed. Fang Tian Zhou leaned on the cushion and squinted his eyes lazily. He Zhang lifted the curtains again, and suddenly saw several people with knives. He stared at one of them, and the latter turned his head sharply and met him. He Zhang inexplicably felt that the eyes were a little scary, and hurriedly retracted his head to look at the other side, and asked tentatively, Your Majesty, should we go down for a walk? Fang Tian Zhou chuckled and said, If Zheng Er wants to, of course you can. The car stopped at an intersection, Fang Tian Zhou stepped on the human foot to get out of the car, He Zheng looked at the teenager who also changed into plain clothes below, and had to put his foot down when Fang Tian Zhou reached out. He seemed to be able to feel the young man under his feet tense. This was to beware that the master would suddenly fall, and they would have to take their lives in it. He Zheng suddenly retracted his feet and jumped out of the car with a haha. After landing, he stomped his numb feet and responded to Fang Tian's woes raised eyebrows with big clear eyes. Fang Tian Zhou didn't ask any further, and said, Walk around, don't run around. He Zhang was fooled for a second by the little one who was irritated by running around, and tried again, then let's, move freely. Fang Tian Zhou said, OK. Finally being able to relax for a while, He Zhang couldn't bear the excitement, rubbed his hands and said, Then, can you give me some spare flowers? Fang Tian Zhou He Zheng had to understand a little, just, that, money, silver. Fang Tian Zhou was stunned for a moment, then looked sideways, the bodyguard immediately took out a money bag, He Zheng stretched out his hand and stuck his head to look inside, Fang Tian Zhou frowned and took the money bag over, seeing He Zheng also he glanced at his hand, frowned slightly, and said, How much? He Zhang flattered, You are the master, you have the final say. Fang Tian Zhou said, Forget it, I'll give it to you. He Zhang was holding the heavy silver bag, and his eyes were shining, Then you are busy, we will gather here when the time comes. 
he looked like a milk dog that finally got off the rope, and S.A. Huana rushed out. The guard said, My lord, it is easy to attract thieves with a lot of money, Sun He. Fang Tian Shou raised his hand to stop his next words. A minute later, He Zhang noticed all the people around him were staring at him. He first hid the money bag, and realized that everyone was still staring at him. Later, he realized that it was because of this face. Hat, so I ran over and bought one. The dark gauze covered his face, a hero who could perfectly walk around the world with a sword, He Zheng sighed with his hands behind his back, the silver spindle on his chest was heavy, he had already figured out the approximate exchange rate of silver some time ago, knowing that there is such a big package in his hand, not to mention that he wants to leave Ying Cheng, even if he goes further, it is more than enough. Looking around, he didn't see Fang Tian's woes people. The idea of taking the opportunity to escape flashed in his mind and was immediately dismissed. In such a big dynasty, he didn't have a single person he knew, how long would he be able to use it with a bag of silver? If you are not familiar with the place of life, you may be caught by someone coveted by beauty and become a servant, so it is better to wait for the arrangement. After wearing the hat, no one stared at him. He Zheng ran left and right, completely unaware that the two men with knives in the back had stared at him. They talked in low voices, that's the big treasure he ye gave to Fang Tian Zhou. The best stunner, it's also a feat to catch us back and push the tyrant in the future. Thank you to the little angel who voted for the king or irrigated the nutrient solution for me thanks to the little angel who cast landmine, one scroll for each other, thanks to the little angel who irrigated nutrient solution, five bottles of afternoon tea, three bottles of NZ Tinglin, two bottles of Liu Yunling, only one bottle, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard.